right. Well, I guess we're live. Hey, guys. Uh, it's Friday Night Live here on the Paul Paluta channel. With me, of course, is the Pontiff of High Horology, the Monger's Monger, the Horned One, the one who thinks about watches so often he has crown guards on his head, Archie Luxury. Or, sorry, Paul Pluta. Forgot it's the Paul Pluta channel. So how are you doing today, Paul? Not so good, Clive. Not so fucking good at all. I... <laughs> You, you you said to me in the in the intro there, hey, you look a bit down. You look a bit down. I'm down because I am fucking broke. I am so fucking broke. It's not funny. I <clears throat> I've really putting. I'm betting on this these two watches to revive the ratings. I came back. <clears throat> okay, I got to find one of my sons had a a test and a special test. That's 150. He's got another appointment that's uh, 70, that's, that's, that's 220. He's then got a, a special mass tutor helping him, that's 80 bucks, 300. The other kid needs $10 for a school locker, 310. And he needs his allowance for tuck shop at school, 320, 320, okay, $320. Clivey, 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 last Friday, before uh, last week, I can't even remember when. Anyhow, sometime last week, they, they hit me up for his school camp bill, $150. Mm. Mm. I'm not well, Clive. Things are bad, okay? Things are tight and they're bad. My ratings are in the toilet. If you go on Social Blade, anyone who doesn't believe me, go on Social Blade, check out the ratings for Poor Pluto Channel, check out ratings for Archie Luxury, and work out can I make a full-time gig out of it. I'm desperately trying to trying to buy interesting pieces that are going to rate well. So in some ways, now that i got that off my plate, I can be happy. Can I be happy now? I think you can be happy anytime you want to. Oh, by the way, sucker horn sighting. Sucker horn. Awesome. Would you like me to do an unboxing? Oh, sorry. We were talking about you. Don't worry about that. No, that's right. We can talk. Well, actually, there's just an administrative thing. Someone else is not having a great week. Who's that? Remember young Max? You're, uh, the, yes, your I love Max. By the way, I, I want to say, Max, I love you. No hard feelings. I was having, I was having some. I was I was having a bad bad week, a bad week. So Max, what's wrong with Max? Well, okay. As it turns out, he hasn't had the best week either because he uh, went. He, apparently, you know, he, Grandpa told him he was going to go again to get the block pain from that jeweler in, in Miami. Yes. Grandpa fiddled around a little bit. Guess where this is going? No. So, so even though, even though apparently Grandpa's bought a lot of watches from this schmuck, someone came along after seeing the channel, after seeing us talk about it, and snatched it from right underneath him. So yeah, he got uh, he got clock blocked. How did that basically. happen? I thought he already owned it when when he did the channel. No, Grandpa was Grandpa was told me he was going to get it, and uh, kind of, uh, you know, was a little bit tardy in following through with the task. So, a okay. couple of things. Number one, Young Max learned a new a, a valuable lesson. Wait until you got the watch in your hand to brag. Number two, we've all learned lesson that jewelers are not our friends. Jewelers are not our friends. Doesn't matter how many times you patronize them. Doesn't matter how many how, what uh, how much money you've given them. Basically, someone came by. Someone came by. John, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, someone came by and paid more or less paid it to like three hundred bucks extra. And so, and the guy, the grandpa was even on the way down to get the watch when and the jeweler didn't even call and say, "Oh, by the way." And then finally, someone specifically mentioned that they heard us talk about what a great value, what a great deal it was, and, and bought it out from underneath them. So whoever you are, you're a fucking turd. You are a boil on the ass of humanity. 
You snatched a watch from a goddamn child. I hope that fucker breaks on you. I hope you get AP style repair bills. Ooh, Clive, I calm down you. there. Well, no, I mean it's just like it's 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 bad enough. It's bad enough when someone I does know. that to someone else, but to a kid, come on, dude. I know. Not cool. I know. I know. Anyway, I, I, my, yeah. Anyway. Quick wristwatch oh. check. What are you wearing? Hmm. Oh, I was telling you about this. It's a, I see a picture of it. It's a vintage Omega. And it's got the original bracelet. That's the amazing thing. And it fits you. My God, what the hell? How did that happen? Yeah. Is that weight loss working that well? Yeah, I've actually had this. I'm, I'm actually having to size everything down a little bit now. The, the existing watch. I don't think there's any fat in my wrist. You know that? There's no fat in my wrist. Sure. Right. And uh, right. Okay. Anyway, but you wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think so. But literally, I'm having to take everything down. Downtown like Julie Brown. And, and then, like I said, so it's, it's, I looked at the reference. And it's kind of. You know, original dial. It's got a nice. It's got a nice simple linen feel to it, or a linen dial to it. Yeah. And the reference checks out to be a Seamaster, but it doesn't have Seamaster on the dial, and it's manual wind. So beautiful. It's, it's so classic and simple, and I love this. It's not even. Yeah, it's not even Uberoki special. It's Uberoki's uh, pocket jeweler comes across stuff, and he'll he'll get to me, and uh, so. Yeah, I'll put it this way: less than five hundred dollars, not the exact amount at all. But I love this thing. Jesus Christ! That's my my birds in the background. Can you hear them? That's kookaburras. I thought they were supposed to sit in the old gum tree. Yes. Now, Clivey, um, I'm desperately trying to get reboot the channel. If if, if this doesn't work by June, July. It's over, okay? That's 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 the. I'm putting every cent I have into rebooting this channel, okay? We're rebooting. So let's okay. have a bit of a quick look there. Let's do a quick, quick. Let me show you what I got here, Clivey. So firstly, this is the Breitling, the Breitling, okay? Now that is the one with the in-house movement, right? Correct. So what's what's special about the in-house movement? Well, the okay. in-house movement is special because it's a deal Breitling's done with Tudor. So mm -hmm. not only does Rolex, because Breitling, sorry, Tudor's owned by Rolex, Rolex is taking Breitling very seriously. They've decided to go into partnership with them. So that just gives them so much more credibility. So basically the B01 chronograph movement that Breitling perfected is being used by Tudor and Tudor is supplying the MT5612 movement, which is okay. the three hand. Um, I think it comes in a date and non date variant there. So it's really, it's a really cool movement. It's in house. Now they call it in house because they're doing a swap between each other. It's, it's a little bit cheeky how they call it in house, but it's, we'll it's, call, it's kind of it's almost gray area ish, but it's not like it's not ETA certainly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Not that you know ETA. We'll talk about that in, in another thing. I mean, not that I. Okay, now let, let's do an unboxing. Let's do an unboxing. So here we go. Da, da, da! And obviously, it's got the new box. Open nice. this up. Ah, the smell of retail, retail, and the lady in the boutique. The Breitling Boutique said to me, they don't smell the same if you buy them used. That's what she said to me. They do not smell the same. Oh, my God. Now, let's have a look. Okay. Now, interestingly well, enough. Wait a minute. What... Let's compare and to contrast. Yep. It smells like a guy who died in 1985. Yes. So this box actually slides in. Look at this. It it slides into here. The lids. Nice. Look at that. It's just very, very perfectly done, right? Right. Inside the box, let's have a look. So it's got a pull-out tab. You pull this out. 
like a safety catch on an airplane for the emergency door. It's got the full retail dongle. Okay, we've got a a dongle, a dongly bit. Right. We have then got, I'll show you what you get. I'll just show you exactly what you get. So inside the box, we get this leather, <sighs> leather folder. Now it's actually got in here, you get two booklets. The first booklet tells you about the super ocean heritage. 42 and 46, they use the same booklet. That just basically tells you how how to use, how to set it, how to wind it, all that sort of bullshit. This here is the warranty. This is the this is the warranty. And because we're in Australia, it's actually got the Australian supplement for warranty because we've got some so slightly how long, different. How long is the warranty? Okay, because this is a this is an in-house movement, a manufacturer move caliber, it's got a five-year warranty with Breitling. Not bad. Is it transferable? I believe so. I believe so. Because they don't record your name anywhere. So in on the other side, let's have a look. On the other side, you've got a certificate. This is a chronometer certificate. Hmm. That's for uh, the Vin Yes, Vin Super chat. Bing, Bing Tinier. Hi, yes. Arch. Boarding a flight, so I can't watch much. Okay. Here's my donation to the night, and glad to see Friday night with Clive. Well, Ving Cardinari will respect us. Thank you so Ving much. Is, Thank you. Ving, Ving is the second member of the Community College of Cardinals. How can is there a way that someone else can join this august group and become a cardinal on the Archie Luxury Channel? Yes, one hundred U.S. dollars, Clive, isn't it? Well, you're the pontiff, so or fifty. I'll do it for fifty bucks. No. Fifty bucks. No, 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 no. I'd say a hundred. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. There we yeah. go, Clive. We, yeah, we don't want to like get overrun with cardinals. That'd be like ridiculous. There'd have to be at the community college. We'd have to get more parking. It just no. It's not going to work, Clive. Right. Well, probably C not. Continuing on certificate. Nice. And the then de cro de cromo, whatever that last word yeah, is. Whatever the fucking frog okay. is. Uh, my vacuum, $5 super chat. $5 super chat, yes. For my vacuum. If yes. Ralph Shepard is a gay rooster, what would his mating call be? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, s gentlemen, sorry. Answer, any cock will do. Hey, fantastic. Ralph Shepard, absolutely. Okay, Tanzil, and sorry. Cool. No worries. No, Super Chats, we depend on this. I am fucking no. so broke, it's not funny. Uh, okay, $5 chat, Super Chat from Tansil and sorry. Archie, who is the bigger scumbag? The guy who snaked Max on the blank pane, Simon Beach, or any criminal that takes the legal services of Clive? I, I Look, 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 look. Any client of Clive's is a friend of mine, no matter what they've done. Um... Look, the guy who snaked Max, that's pretty low. That's pretty bad. That even gives vinyl, nasty vinyl cunters a bad name. That's Seriously. just, I just can't believe it's happened. I really just can't believe it. I thought he owned the watch. I would have told him not to mention it if he oh, hadn't. No kidding. I thought he did too. Well, yeah, he thought, I think he thought he did too, but, you know, Grandpa, uh, Grandpa uh, dallied a little bit. So, otherwise, yeah. So, and again, guys, social media. Everything else, who would ever thought that someone could like be watching this? But mind you, that person could be completely innocent because he could have maybe saw the saw the well, show, possibly. saw okay, another one. He thought, "Hey, this is a great one. I saw one of these on YouTube. Maybe I'll get one of these as well." Possibly. Maybe maybe he can redeem himself and sell it back to Max. We'll see. We'll see. Or, well, actually, that's a dispensation. A dispensation requires pontifical approval. Is there another way that he can redeem himself? Yeah, he can, he can donate to the to the Archie Luxury Channel because we need some support, that's for sure. Clive, just to show you just very quickly here, unboxing this here, it came... Clive's comes... vacuum. Sorry, yes, sorry, super chat. Clive's super vacuum. Chat? What do Ralph Shepard and his boyfriend call Valentine's Day? Answer, What's... Vaseline Day. 
What does Ralph Shepard and his boyfriend call Valentine's Day? Answer, Vas Vaseline Day. Vaseline Day. Mm. I got to be oh, honest. I, I did send Max one of the special cardinal mugs. Hey, good, good. That's a good consider. Yeah, thank you so much, Clyde. That's a great way to, to oh, do he's that. He's, he's a, he's a lovely well, kid. He's I really lovely like him. Boy. I really like him. I really, really do like Max. He's a great guy. And uh, anything we can do to promote his channel, Max, just give us the nod. We'll do anything for you, Max. It's um, just, I just hang on. I'll just grab this quickly. What's wrong, John? I'm not doing a live show. Live show, John. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, dump it on speaker. Okay. Okay, no worries. Is he doing super chats? Is he paying for super chats or not? Okay. Okay, no worries. That's okay. Sorry about that. That's all right. Okay. There's a little bit of a technical problem we had there. Um, Clive, I wanted to say yeah. to you, Clivey, this is the this is the warranty card there. What's that uh, steel thing on the bottom? I see metal. It plugs in. Oh, okay. okay, whoa. Yeah, okay. S Tansil and sorry, five dollars super chat. Archie, which of the, which of the following symbolizes that you're poor? Wearing a burgundy tutor, wearing a pro, wearing a prototype Adricos Patek, wearing Clive's cheap suits. Well, it's Hart Schefter Marx. It's not exactly cheap. No, it's not exactly cheap. No, exactly. You know, for wearing the bur suit, the burgundy for a tutor. Suit, it's not bad. The Burgundy Tudor. Okay. $2 super bet by Jean Sebastian Fabre. I don't know who he is, but I love the name. I love the Jean, name. It's so cool, Jean isn't it? Jean Sebastian Fabre. Hello, ladies. My name is Jean Sebastian Fabre. All right. And finally, is that clarinet? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is okay. actually. Someone's $5 practicing. Super $5 super. Okay, nice. $5 super chat, Imad B. Archie, I was thinking of buying a beater. What do you think of the thickness of that tutor you've got? Thanks. Oh, that's a very good point. It's, uh, it's great. It's really, really, really great there. We'll come to that in one minute there. I just wanted to show you. So anyhow, Clive, this is the war... This is the warranty cards here. You can. Oh. This is what they put. Ten dollars super chat. Raj Horology. Yes. Hi, it's CT. It's CTJ. I bought a two tone steel and eighteen carat yellow gold Rolex date just forty one with a champagne dial one two six three 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 about a month ago, which I now wear every day. What watch would you choose of you? Could o if you could only have one. Good question. Arch, you first. Uh, look, I, I think the, uh, the Datejust 41 mil is a great watch. How could you not love that? Wouldn't you? You could wear that every day. That's a great watch. And it's not too small. Exactly. It's not too it's small. A, it's, it's actually got a modern, it's, it's got a modern movement. Um, I was actually talking to I was actually talking to Don. He was saying that uh, it's amazing how Rolex has upped its game on its modern movements. It's, been, it's, it's within two seconds, plus or two minus two seconds a day. What, I mean, amazing. It is. It is absolutely amazing. There, it's absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, so. You're going to go back. To, you were telling me about the uh, about the warranty card on the Breitling. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. There, I'm too scared to say anything about him practicing the clarinet because he practices so little. If I say anything, he'll stop. You, you know what I mean? I mean, I mean. <laughs> okay, five dollars. Uh, two five dollars super chats. Yes. Woody New Yorker, how's it going? AC, thank you for posting my fan video on your channel. Best. Regards and best wishes, Ryan from NWC, NYC, NYC. Yeah, okay, I, I saw that. And he was the one who uh, 
who sold the Omega Speedmaster and he got a Submariner. Excellent. Excellent. I'm trying to remember right. which, which video that was. $5 actually. Super. Oh, I, it was one, when you, uh, Archie, a $5 Super Chat. Oh, yeah, Ryan. I know, Ryan. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Indian Archie, guy. How much? Right. Well, I, yeah. Archie, how much do we need to Super Chat for you to play the clarinet while Cl Clive sings O Canada, the national an anthem live for the audience? I don't know the words of O Canada. Yeah. I barely know the words of our national anthem. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I think uh, we'd have to be fifty bucks because I'm pretty rusty. I haven't practiced in years. Okay, oh, I am pretty rusty, guys. Oh, uh, Suckerhorn is basically no Suckerhorn. We uh, read that ten dollars super chat uh, about the uh, two tone steel and eighteen karat date just so. Um, I reckon that's a great everyday watch. That's a beautiful watch. What, what's wrong with that watch? No. Uh, well, okay. Uh, fifty dollars or fifty Australian Ooh. from Andy, Mary, Matlin. Take the kids out for lunch today, Arch. Thank My you. God. Andy. That, was, that was really nice. Are you gonna? You are gonna take the kids out for lunch today, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. I will. That was really, that was, okay. Five dollars super chat from Clive Vacuum. What does Ralph Shepard call his boyfriend's hemorrhoids? Answer, speed bumps. <laughs> Dr. Warren taking care of business. Respectfully. Thank you. I, I, I'm, I'm scared to say anything to my son because he'll stop practicing. No, no. You, know, you know how hard it is to get him to practice anything? Oh, yeah. Do you, do you yeah. know how but, fucking but, hard it is? But, but here's, what he's do here's what he's probably doing. I bet he's you doing it to stiff me. Okay, $5 super chat, message deleted by Suckerhorn. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Um, okay. He's probably... Oh, my okay, God, Tanzillin. $5 super chat. Get a bottle... Okay, Tanzillin, sorry. Get a bottle of whiskey for the weekend on me. Wow! <coughs> Wowzers! Actually, Tanzil... I spoke to Tanzillin. Tanzil, if you want to... If you want to uh, Donate another fifty dollars. Archie will come back tomorrow night, and he will drink the entire thing while on the air. <laughs> I don't think so, Clive. Clive, I actually spoke to Tanzillan when I was in Sydney, and oh, really? uh, I said to him, Tanzillan, if you want me to change the script, write me a script, and I'll change it. I will change it. You know the script. Every video, it's not about the money; it's the passion. I'll change it. So it's Tanzillan's working on that. He's a great. Wow. Thank you. Now, Clive, I was just saying to you, this Brightlink card here, you can plug that in. When you go to the boutique, it gives you the service history. That's the card. Okay. Now, let me tell you this, Clivey. Do you think this is going to help? Sorry. No, that's no, I was laughing. I, I was okay. Discount. If you want Archie to buy his kid a drum kit instead, you have to super chat. So sorry. <laughs> now, Clivey, do you do you think do you think the um the watches will help my ratings? Um, yeah, actually. I, I think if you come up with some really useful useful professional information with it, I think it always will because um well as we as we know, well, let's get we'll we'll get into Rolex talk later on. I think. Now, Clive, so, yeah, I got to tell you this here. Let me have a look at the Breitling. I'm going to open it up. Da, 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 da. Here we go, Clivey. Yeah. Yeah. I walked into the boutique there and I said, "Excuse me." Do you discount? I'm sorry, sir. We have no need to discount. We're a luxury brand. I said, perfect. That's the sort of watches I like, luxury watches. And? <laughs> I found another retailer, Clyde. Come on. <laughs> Don't push okay, the luck. Good. Okay. Uh, okay, number one, he, he's going to come back. Remember, he wants to ask you about the thickness of the tutor, so we're going to come back to that. Mm. John... Jean Sebastien Fabre. I love that name. 
That is, it is very yeah. sexy name, isn't it? I damn near would sleep with myself with a name like that. Yeah, look, look at him too. His That's photo there. I can't. Oh, shit. Where's my glasses? Uh, oh. Archie, will you publish the video of your mother unboxing you? Yeah. Hey, 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 I'll hey. I 100 euros for such a piece. Yeah. I, I, unfortunately, my mother died, so I, it may be a little bit hard to arrange. <laughs> right. Well, not to mention, not to mention back then, John Sebastian, men did not go anywhere near the, men did not go near the delivery rooms. We went to bars and we exactly. got drunk. Exactly. Yes. So we're, we went to bars we're, and we got drunk. They were the good exactly. days, weren't they? Yep. Ah, yes. And we smoked cigars too. Sm yeah, that's true. Light them up in the, in the hospital, pass them around. So, Clivey, that is the... The Breitling with the in-house no, movement. Can I tell you something? Sorry. Go ahead. What, what, what color is the dial on it? It's the black one. So that's, and that's the 42, not the 46. 42 mil. 42 mil. So you like them black. You just don't like them big and black. I think 42 is big enough, don't you? I don't think that's a small watch. No. No, that's probably closer to the proportions of the original, right? Yes. Yes. So that's the Breitling. That is the Breitling, Clivey. That's okay. the Breitling. I struggled so hard to to find and buy, okay? It's so, okay. Uh, here's also here's also my thought about your kid. Yes. If he's anything like you, he's probably waiting until it's like, okay. He's live streaming in five, four, three, two. And what, I, was he playing it earlier or not? No, no. Only when I started the live show. Yeah, five. that's why I kind of he's doing that deliberately. No, I don't think he is. I don't think he is. But that's okay. As long as he's practicing. Do you know how hard it is to get him to practice anything? I seem to remember you spread a pretty penny getting that sucker back into shape. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did spend a pet pretty penny that's the bright link now i want to also show you when you buy retail they give you goodies they give you goodies when you buy retail they give you goodies they may not give a discount but we give service sir would you like a cap no i'd rather you take 300 dollars off and i'll buy my own goddamn cap thank you very much do you like the Breitling cap? Yeah, it's, it's not a bad cap, believe it or not. Blue and gold. I mean, I, I, it just combo. If anything I want, it's blue and gold. Exactly. It's a great. That's the that's the reason I love the gold Submariner with the blue blue dial. Right. Blue and gold. So, Clive, what did you think of the? Sorry. The Breitling. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's nice. It's a nice looking watch. I've seen. I've, I sold seen the other one. Right. You sold the other two, actually. Yes. You sold yes. the whiteling, and then you sold the blackling. And can I tell you something that's going to shock you? Go ahead. I prefer, out of all of them, I think if I could have my choice again, it would be the white one. I could see that. Well, because I almost think to a certain degree... I, I t think to a certain degree, I mean, you, it kind of probably reminds you of the Polar Explorer or the Bi or as we call in the channel in the comments, the Bipolar Explorer. The bipolar, the Bipolar or, Explorer. Until recently, until recently, the Poorer Explorer. Yes. And, I, I um, got to tell you, Clive, I am so fucking broke. I don't, and you know what happens when you spend all your last money, you always have these extra bills that come in then. You, you notice that? Yeah. Lady Luck. Yeah. Um, Lady Luck has got a bad way of... There's no point me buying a lotto ticket because I definitely wouldn't win. Well, Did I think you, you are right. I think you're right. I think you really screwed up when you sold the white one. You should have kept it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's life. Now, Clivey, did you want to see... Did you want to see... The Tudor? Did you want to see the Tudor? Yeah, actually, actually I would. Yeah, you know, I've come close so many times to buy, to pulling the trigger on a Tudor myself. Okay, so here we go. This is another retail experience. Here we go. So that's the outer box. 
Okay. Uh, Rudd's horology, five, five pounds. Speaking about gaining five pounds, we'll come back to that later. When's the next with the original and best? I still have the ribbon you cut. Yes. P.S. PS fuck KGB. Yes. But keep in mind, we keep in mind we read the super chats, so I'm just reading super chats. Now, the thing is, Raj Horology, that is my good friend CTJ, Craig Teal Jones. That's oh, okay. Okay. Raj Horology. Uh, Craig has actually invented a homage line of watches to celebrate some of the classic Rolex pieces. So he's, oh, um, yeah. I think, read, I think I've read something about that. Okay. Mm, mm, very interesting so, indeed there. I, I would gladly promote those brands there because he's a cool guy. Craig, Craig is a lovely guy. And uh, Craig, I'll I really, love you I'll, to death. All he'd have to do is send you a watch. Unlike other reviewers, he wouldn't, you wouldn't request him to pay you to do it, would you? Or would no, you I, I do it for Craig. Craig is a cool guy. I really love Craig, anything I, I'd, 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 um, yeah, Craig, I, I mean, look, look at what he did for the Polar Explorer. I mean, come on, no one knew about the Polar Explorer until Archie started uh, singing its praises. Exactly, exactly. So the Tudor, the unboxing of the Tudor. Here we go. Take this off. Okay. Do, 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 why are you doing the theme to the odd? To the I object? know it just it just seemed appropriate at the time. So this is what you get. You get this. This is the box. This is the box for the Tudor. Look at that. That's the Tudor box. What's it, okay? What's it made out of? It's like a faux wood. Faux. Oh, it's lacquered. 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 Look at this. This is the box. This is this is what. This is what you get here, Clivey. That's, That's nice. It's so, actually nicer. Than, it's nicer than most Rolex boxes, isn't it? Yeah, I, I would actually have to agree with you there. I, 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 I really do think it is. It is nicer. And on the back of it, can you see that? Um, I think you're holding it upside down. Thank you. Montre Tudor se Genève Suisse. Okay. As would be said by Jean Sebastian Fabre. Fabre. Now, so the watch itself, it's like Wonder. a, I think it's a, it's like a, it's, it, it, it's kind of like a, it's kind of the same stuff they make coffins out of, okay? Beautiful Super lacquered chat. smell there. Super chat by yep, Jean, yep. Fa Fabre. Jean Sebastian Fabre. Yes. For Okay, I, I want to almost do it in a European, but I'm not going to try it. Okay, yes. for 6.5 thousand budget, I'm considering used a Rolex GMT2 two tone pre ceramic or sub date pre ceramic. What is the best investment according to both of you, Arch and Clive? Can you get one for that price? Oh, um, okay, we are falling behind. That's no, okay. Uh, we'll come back to that. Just S. David Garcia, five dollars. Would you rather buy Hunter's fake Patek for twenty dollars or eat TGV's diaper? I, I think, think I would rather take the I'd fake Patek. Patek, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I don't care. I don't care if he did anything in the diaper or not. No, that's just too humble. Ooh, I mean, yeah, the, the chemicals yeah. in that are nasty. Okay, uh, yeah, six point five thousand. I think you, yeah. Um, assuming yes, yeah, six point five thousand. Six point five. Would you get a? Um, I suppose two tone pre ceramic. Would you get one for that? I suppose you would, wouldn't you? That's okay, still. Yeah, actually, uh, barely, barely. Would you get um, a sub date pre ceramic? Either a sub date or a sub no date. I mean, well, look, what? Really, okay, Jean Sebastian, at this point, especially if you're talking about used, it's it's definitely a seller's market out there. So. Really, it just depends on whichever one you can get your hands on, um, and whichever I, one yeah. you prefer. I, I I reckon the sub date steel is going to be a better investment. Two tones always a little bit softer. The problem is the two tones for that money would be more normally on a jubilee. I prefer the two tone on an oyster. So I reckon you're better off to get a better condition steel sub date. Right. You might want to consider 
a sea dweller pre ceramic for that money. That's another good good that, choice. Yeah, that is that is another good one. It's a little bit off the beaten path. That's what I like about it. How much should I pay for a new Omega Speedy Pro 311.30.42.30.01.006 from Brissy Hardy Brothers? Oh, now for starters, Woodville, don't buy anything from fucking Hardy Brothers. Hardy Brothers, the most pretentious sons of bitches. I fucking know. They don't discount. They're so they're owned by Wallace Bishop. It's basically you wouldn't understand this, Clive, because it's a Brisbane thing. But Wally Bishop, he runs these. He runs jewelry shops, and then he he took over Hardy Brothers. They don't discount. You're better off jump on Joma Shop. Joma Shop. That's where you buy the Speedy Pro from. Hardy Brothers don't discount. <laughs> You're lucky to get five percent. And Omega right. is flooding the market at the moment. Go to Hourglass, Hourglass, or Monards at the Gold Coast. I'd go to Monards at the Gold Coast. That's where you're going to get the best deal. I know people have gotten magic deals on the Speedy Pro at Monards on the Gold Coast. Go to Monards. Fuck Hardy Brothers. Go to Monards. Also say that Archie Luxury sent you. Yes. I don't get any kickback. I'm just telling you, but that's where I'd go. Don't buy from Hardy Brothers. They're a bunch of pretentious fuckers. Yeah, but on the other hand, if you're sending people there, shouldn't you get credit for it? That's the guy who let me walk around the boutique in Melbourne and film the whole bloody thing. Monard? Yes, that's Monards at the casino. They also have Monards at the Gold Coast. Yeah. Same French. So, so uh, that's where I'd be going. I can tell you that now. Yeah. I mean, uh, okay. <laughs> Um, and like I said, as for as Jean Sebastian, I just re w really it just depends on which. Well, actually, right now, whichever one you can find, um, I think you'd probably have a little bit better luck finding a, a sub date at this point. Yeah. So, Clive okay, tutor, tutor. Let's go back to that other question. What What do you think about the bracelet? How thick is the bracelet on the tutor? You know, we know that Rolex has been upping the upping the prices every year, and part of the one of the plus sides is that you get a completely solid bracelet. That's let me show you with, with this tutor I've got here. That's that's so that's the box, right? They, uh, right. I'll just show you. You actually get speaking of bracelets, you get a NATO, you get a, a Tudor right. NATO. They do this in What's burgundy this? and black. I would have preferred the burgundy one, but beggars can't be choosers. What's what's the well you paid you paid sub retail for it so what's the size on it oh okay. forty one mil forty one mil okay ask David Garcia how much to Clive ship me a, a Clive coffee mug a carnarial one uh, David those are those are just those are just for shits and giggles for my friends uh, just the people that have to endure the uh, basically you have to endure stoically to live streams to qualify so. Yeah. You know, I'm, I don't know. You think I should have those uh, trouble? Yeah. No, Here, no, here's the, tr here, the trouble is now, Archie, if I could send you the design. If you want to yeah. do it and ship them out, go right ahead. Knock yourself okay. out. Okay. Yeah, send it, just email it to me. I've got someone who can take care of that. Clive, okay. this is the interior smell retail, full retail, Clive. Enjoy that smell. I got. I had to take a link out. Good. Um, it's also got the the hang tag. That's how much it is in Australia, by the way. Should you continue to wear the Brightling cap while you show us the tutor, or is that sacrilege? No, because they both tutor approves of of Brightling because they're using the um. They're using the tutor movements, aren't they? In Brightling. True. They're friends. They're friends in the horological game. Okay. Now I just show you quickly there. Yeah. So that, that that's that that's the Tudor. What does it look like? This is what you're really asking. Okay. And it's got um, a faux faux rivet bracelet. You see that's a faux rivet bracelet. But the best thing about this is it's got a. It's no rattlesnake. Okay, Archie. 
Uh, the, okay, yeah. S. David Garcia, ten dollars super chat. Yeah, Archie, yeah. this is to buy Stuckahorn a pack of cigarettes the next time you see him. Thank you. Okay, Thank Suckerhorn, you. you witnessed that. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Well, you know, we have to stop and read Super Chats. That's the rule you established, so... No, 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 it's no problem. I need the money. Jesus Christ, I am so broke at the moment. So broke, it's not funny. Um, how, how solid How solid is it? Look, it's is 41 it? mil, so it's actually bigger. I'm going to take my quick wristwatch check. I was wearing the Ingenua, the Ingenua. Yeah. I got to admit, I'm coming around to the Ingenua. I have to admit, I'm, I'm, I, I know I called it the Ingenua. Yep, 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 yep. No, that's that's perfectly. Okay. Look. Uh, oh, what? Well, $10 super chat. Yeah. Turbo B18C1DC2. Over. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Did Don the Cuckold Haynes have a falling out with Archibald? I saw a previous live stream, and Archibald seemed pissed about Don the Pegging Haynes. No, no, no actually, no. wait. I'm, I'm receiving all sorts of Facebook messages, so let me... I, I sure, sorry, why don't you address this? No, no, actually, no, we're, they're fine. It's Don is having prob technical problems, or at least a couple of times, so... And I can't, I'm trying to get to the... Okay, here we go. I'm trying to get to the browser and Facebook real quick. And I swear to God, does it seem like, okay. Uh, okay, so we're up on Super Chats, but specifically the question was to see about the, huh, okay, nice. You were talking about the bracelets before. What were the bracelets like? So the Tudor itself, I think, is thicker than a sub, a comparable sub. It is actually thicker. It's also 41 mils. It's using a faux rivet bracelet, but they're actually solid end, solid links. Um, so it's not just solid end links. It's a completely solid bracelet like Rolex. I actually haven't had this bracelet off. I'm not sure if they are solid end links as such. Uh, no. Stephen K, is Don's tech problems to do with his sexuality? No. It's more to do with his iPhone. But the bracelet... It's it's a lot better than the standard the old rattlesnake type bracelets. Nice. So um, it's a very look. I got to be honest with you. As far as a watch goes, um, I think these are great. I got to tell you something, Clive. I've got new videos coming out. I actually I'm going to tell you this. This is because no one's watching this. I think the Tudor is a better entry level watch than the Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Well, uh, okay. Um, and like I said, I've come really, really close to pulling the Tudor, pulling a trigger on a Tudor a couple of times. Uh, on a black, they've been, okay, every once in a while, a black bay pops up near me, but it goes off the radar real quick. Yeah. Faster yeah. than Rolexes do. And not to mention there was a bronzo I could have got for just a little bit under, a little bit over 3000 actually for a nice little discount. I'm not really that keen on bronze. What do you think? Bronze goes green. You know this, don't you? Well, yeah, it patinas. And that's and the thing is... The, that's what they what, like. That's what they like. And it, it, so, it, therefore, every watch is special. What I didn't like about the bronzo is that they included another strap or a, a NATO or Gato or whatever, mm -hmm. because it was a what's uh, because it was a screwed up size, and basically I was checking up. I was really checking up on Rolex and Tudor forums. Um, oh, I, was, I see. And they were saying, and they were saying, "Oh my God, it's twenty-two millimeters." Jesus Christ, here we go! And literally, there and everyone on the forum was like, "Oh Jesus." And they put it. They made it in this really funky size that they said it's almost impossible to get third party, party straps for. And I was wondering what the strap the strap size is on the uh, on your tutor. It's twenty two, but twenty two is not that obscure. My Breguet was twenty one. The Breguet right. is twenty one. Twenty two is not that bad. Like a lot of um, I tell you what, Navi time is twenty two. Okay. Well, I can't remember exactly what the size was, but it was a real odd duck size. Now, I wanted to ask you, Clivey, 
do you think these two purchases will help my dismal ratings? Will I survive or will YouTube be a thing of the past? Well, I seem to remember something saying that YouTube is kind of pitting the squeeze on everyone monetarily, even recently. Uh, they've, I've actually heard that they've even start, they're starting to do uh, more intensive verification for channels that they think are buying subscribers. Well, I'm all for that. I don't buy any subscribers. Look how low my ratings are. I don't buy nothing. <laughs> I don't buy ratings. You can. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't have my crap ratings, would I? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Well, it it, it really depends on, you know, how well think, how well you do it, how informative you are, how entertaining you are. By the way, I'm going to actually do up the study, the, the, the studio. I'm doing up the studio, okay? I came back. I was away for two days, right? I came back, right. sat down in my chair, and fuck. I got, I, I'm going to show you this, okay? This is how... This is how. I just want to show to you. I'm not lying. Fuck, just one minute. Fuck! Fuck! One minute. One minute, sorry. <laughs> Archie Luxury, as you've never seen him before. Fuck, I'm just knocking things over, Clivey. Okay. Sorry about that. I was going to say to you, Clivey, I was going to show to you. I came into $20, my room, right? $20 super, $20 super chat by the spirits. Radio yeah. mirrors suck donkey dick. Got to go with Luminor. Okay. I, I would agree. I mean, I, you know. I was going to show you know, something. I, Did you want to see something? Well, what we're doing with a, Sorry. I think there's another, another $20 super chat. Turbo. B one C one D C two. Yeah. Okay, Archibald. The tutor has intrigued me. Is the crystal domed? Is it sapphire? Also, does the crystal have an AR coating on it or not, like my roly polies? In some of your videos, the tutor crystal almost looked Hesolite or Helsolite. So is the tutor is okay. So so the 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 bracelet is nice and thick and heavy to discuss. I mean, like another one. Um, is the uh, crystal? Is it uh, domed and is it sapphire and does it have an anti-reflective coating? It actually, I got to tell you, if it's sapphire, they're trying to emulate the plastic. I'll do a do a quick sapphire test. Yeah, it is sapphire, but it actually feels... I've been fooled myself. I thought it was actually plastic myself. And uh, I just wanted to show you something. This is this is on the floor here where the carpet beetles live, okay? And I just wanted to show you this, right? So I came back from, over, came back from Sydney, and they've already started attacking my legs there. I've got... Oh, I've God. They start attacking my toes. It's just really quite nasty stuff. There, I'm I'm going to use a new toxin to get rid of them next week, and I'm also I'm going to clean up my room. By the way, have a look what's on the floor. Yeah, I think I think that bucket's still got chicken in it. By the way, that's probably what's attracting the carpet beetles. And I'm going to actually I've got a new bookshelf. Well, secondhand bookshelf I bought on Craigslist. We call it right. Gumtree. Uh, I'm actually going to be putting another bookshelf in my room. I'm taking that ta desk out there, and I'm going to be putting a bookshelf in to put all my watch brochures and stuff. And I'm going to go through those cardboard boxes. I don't know what's in them. I haven't. I'm just going to get rid of. I'm going to clean up the studio next week. Are you going to do some videos about you cleaning up the studio? Do you reckon I should? Yeah. Why not? Why not do a live stream? Yeah, okay, I, I might do that actually. Um, so basically, I just wanted to tell you that's the way it is with the carpet beetles. They have been um, $5 very super chat. Yep. Five dollar super chat by Stephen K. Home, home on the range where the deer and the carpet beetles play. Now, I've got to also tell you that sand doesn't seem to work with those beetles. They've become immune to the sand I was sprinkling around the studio. They're probably snorting it. I, 
I will tell you, I do want to hear a mouse story. Mousey Pluto Prestige. I had a I had this strange smell that was coming from one of the rooms, and then I was moving a bookshelf out in preparation for the studio cleanup, and there was a right. dead mouse underneath the cabinet. That's what was the smell was from. But the good news is by the time I got to the mouse, he'd he'd been completely dried out, so there was no smell there, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, Ving Tenye, two dollar super chat. Flight oh delayed. wow! Flight delayed on tarmac. I blame AC three. Thank you. Actually, Ving Tenye, if you want to officially blame AC three, I think that requires a twenty dollar super chat. How well, have you been, Clive? Tell me this. How have you been? Talk to me. I want to know how you've been. Well, you know, hey. Here's something else. Okay. I can't believe five, this. Five dollar super chat by Tansil and sorry. Yes. Archie, who has purchased more shitters this year? Bruce Williams, TGV, J. Anthony, or Archibald Shitterfield the third? I think Archibald Shitterfield the third has bought more shitters this year, hasn't he? No. No. I mean, I. You know, no. Not with. Uh, no. The Brightlings, you know, okay, maybe not the pinnacle of hotorology, but not, you know, not shitters exactly. No. I can't get like a snake. Someone's saying I should get a snake to get rid of the mice. You know, snakes actually shit too. They shit and piss too. Did you know this? Well, yeah, they have to. They're living things. Yeah. Every, yeah everything shits and pisses. And you can pick up bad diseases from snakes. Right. Unless, unless it's a chick with a hot, a hot chick with a snake, and for some reason I'm okay with that. Yeah. Anyway, I don't particularly like snakes. Do you like snakes, Clive? Oh yeah, but come on. I mean, you know, get a blonde with. I mean, a, a hot blonde with a you know Blade Runner. Come on, you got to do the Blade Runner thing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, well, like I said, I think live stream, live stream of that. May, oh, that's what I was going to say. Maybe, maybe you could sell naming rights to your carpet beetles. Yes, that's a good point. I'm trying to find these carpet beetles. They're very, very microscopic. Who is more insect like? Carpet beetles, TGV, or Fed? $2 carpet $2 beetles. Carpet, I, know, I, I can't see the carpet beetles, but I can feel them. When I sat down here, they just, it's like, like, I'm itchy, itchy, itchy. Fuck, I'm itchy, 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 itchy. Ah, fucking hell. Okay. Oh, yeah, I hope you're watching. Uh, oh, okay. Work of a genius. Did you see I gave credit to Ui? Did you see that? Work of a genius. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but the one where you did the uh, we he raised your voice two octaves yes. and matched the Princess Leia hologram. God damn, that's over. It it was very very well that done there. Uh, yeah. Now, Clive, well, no, I want. Oh, leave it. To, okay, Arch. If I were to five dollars super jump by Tan Seal, if I were to buy a Louis Vuitton strap for my Pam zero zero five, in other words, it's made by hacked made from hacked up Louis Vuitton bags. Well, that guaranteed me a threesome with Mimi T and Spider Bite. I think so. Okay. Nice. Nice. Um, someone also pointed out it could be bed bugs. Okay. The bed bugs, you can see that they're, they're big. They're big. No, um,. No, not really. There are tiny little things. Like, okay. Okay. Turbo B18C1DC2. We'll just call you Turbo. I've been out of the watch game for about a year as I got back into cars. What's the story with Fed? He got busted for wearing a fake Panerai? I don't watch his channel, to be honest with you. I really don't watch his channel. And um, all I know is that he took me to Bangkok. He bought some beautiful shirts for me. And um, yeah, he's. Um, he's. Okay. Um, 
that's it. That's it. I, I, I kind of, um, yeah, we, oh. we were friends, but we had some bad blood that came out. Now, Patrick says, this is not a super chat, but it's a good question. How much for naming rights for the horns? Now, bucks, I've always 50 did, bucks, anything, anything, uh, anything. Is it 50 bucks or 100 bucks per horn? Is it 100? Uh, 50 bucks I per just, horn. I refer to them just informally as lefty and righty. Uh, um, okay, Tanzil, I'm sorry, $2 super chat. Did Fed pay for any of your hookers in Bangkok? No, he didn't actually. I, I, I tried to. I said, hey, let's have a look down here. <clears throat> we were walking around Pat, uh, Pat Pong and um, I said, let's go and have a quick look inside. I, I was, that was kind of subtle hint for come and cough up, but he, 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 didn't, he didn't fall for that trick. Okay. He, now hold it. Let me, Alvin, I'm on the stream right now, dude. Sorry. Is it, does it seem like when you're trying to do something, does everyone like ask you what questions and so forth and so oh, on? Oh, no, definitely. It's Murphy's Law, oh. it's called. Okay. All right. Well, the, um, why do you no, actually fed fed took me to a lovely restaurant i i must say fed did take me to one of the most beautiful 50 50 second floor restaurant it was it was it was a rooftop restaurant it was actually quite amazing i i won't lie to you that was amazing well okay let let me ask a quick question as you know well as you hopefully know right now rolex rolexes are scarce yes okay what well, which of the two that you would you what would you recommend for someone that's new? Would you recommend that they get on an AD and wait for? I mean, because I hate to say it, but the the time about used sports still stunners. You know, I that you're lucky if you can find one. If you I, can find one, if you can, they're not going to be bargains. I, you I reckon. That I reckon myself. I reckon this Tudor is fucking amazing. I got to tell you. I mean, I mean. You can pick these. The retail, I think, is is a just a little over three in America. Okay, Archie, uh, Mr. Magoo, Archie, five dollars super chat. You've mentioned you're not a fan of the coaxial escapement. Why is this? It's supposed to decrease wear on movement. <clears throat> Look, the, the the thing about the thing I disliked about the coaxial is when it came out, Swatch deliberately tried to get everyone to send it for service back to Swatch Group. So they needed special tools to serve. So I kind of, it's this whole Swiss industry is just bullshit. They're, um, they're as greedy as fuck. But that's why I, I disliked it because normal what independent watchmakers couldn't necessarily service them. Okay, uh, Tanzil, sorry. Clive, can you please describe the condition of the dial on the date date you posted the other day? Not sure if it's yours. Is it Theon Harris patinaed or water damaged? Oh, actually, I actually took this in for, actually had uh, had this serviced. Oh, you had your day date serviced? Yeah. Put it up again. Well, I can't see it, Clivey. Fuck, you know something? That gold looks so cool with the tie. The yellow. It really does. You know, like, like put, let's just put your hand up again. I want to see that again. Fuck. It's so cool. Do you really want to sell it? Yeah, I hate to say it, but after wearing it for a couple of days. What price did you put it up for? No, I haven't even put it up. I've worn it for a couple of days. No, it's. I don't think it's patinaed, quite frankly. I actually think it's in great condition. Uh, well, yeah, there might be a couple, There might be some. Well, it's not water damage. A couple of spots on it. It just might need to be taken off and cleaned up a little bit. Trouble is, this thing. Okay, Tanzil, this thing is as old as this is a birth year, and it's held up a hell of a lot better than I have. That's a birth year. That's your birth year. 
Well, it, it's somewhere from 67 to 69. So I'm, I'll just claim it's a birth year. It's an LBJ. No, so you know, like I said, and keep in mind, Tanzil, Tanzil when you take a close-up of something, oh, uh, okay, Clive, Archie, doesn't Clive wearing that gray suit make him look like Matlock? Yes, he does. He does. It looks very much like... I reckon I'll take that. that. Thank you. I got to tell you, that fucking... I know I told you to um, sell the fucking su the president, but fuck, that does look good with that tie. Very distinguished. You look t almost Tony Soprano-esque. No, oh, thanks. And you can tell you can tell it's an old one because it still has. Ha it has the clasp. Have, yeah, it has the oyster clasp, but doesn't have the hidden one. So. But keep in mind when you take a blow up when you go take that was a really like was it macro micro uh, macro picture so yeah. yeah so you can just see everything on that dial but I think it's nothing more than dust because I'm looking at it right now with my reading glasses and I think it looks pretty gosh darn good there's no water damage on this bite your tongue boy bite your tongue yeah and uh, boy it's just. Friday the second, seven seven to one p.m. Oklahoma time. I'm, dead I'm, on aggro. Now your one there, that Clive's is an interesting one because the bracelet was made in Mexico. Is that right, Clive? Yeah, Echo in Mexico. That's an interesting. It's interesting a bark story. bracelet. No, it was. It looks. Uh, it was probably barked aftermarket. Oh. So that's why I've got the bark bracelet in the pie pan, uh, pie pan bezel. I, I, but it's you all know, period I the, correct. It's all period correct. It's all period correct. And because what happened? Okay. Archie, how much did you pay for the pre owned Super Ocean? I was going to carry on that I've been paying retail for it, but I can tell you the truth. Do you mean to tell you the truth, Clive, or not? Sure. That's the first time for everything. Okay. The watch actually came from, I can't fucking pay retail. I'm just a poor man. I'm just a poor man from a poor you're family. Not, you're, you're, not a, you're not a rich man. That's, that's from the Queen. That, you know, Queen, that song, I'm just a poor man from a poor family. You heard that? That's that. That yes. song. Yes, I, I could have. I could have dealt without that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, opera. It's, I can't think of it. Damn it! Queen, I can't think queen, of the song. Queen. 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 Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Yeah, Something. Yeah. Uh, Something. Anyway. Oh, fuck it. Anyhow, I can tell you what I paid for it. If you really want me to tell you. Well, tell us what you want, what you real no, go okay, ahead. Okay, I'll tell you, okay, I'll tell you the truth, okay? It came from European Watch Gallery in Melbourne. Five dollars super chat, ten seal and sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. Arch, you know the rules. Arch, Arch, if you were to make it rain at the tie bar and basically tell the mama son that you'd pay her bar fine, do you think she'd be a freak or just missionary? Depends how big the bar tab is, I imagine. Mm. Okay, I'll tell you what I paid for it. I'm not going to, I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? I mean, if it was just a few nights, I think it'd just be missionary, plain old vanilla, married sex. But, you know, if she let that thing run up for a month, she'd go Rick James. It actually came from European Watch Gallery. It was originally sold brand new, 26th of December, 2017. Nice. Three days later, the guy took it to European Watch Gallery and sold it. Okay. Nice. They actually, because I'm a celebrity and I know them well, they sold it to me for to me for cost. Well, I paid about a little over twenty eight US. Okay, there you go. I've told yeah, you. for actually for new with the new in house with the in house movement, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's actually really good, I think. For like for like new. Mm, mm, mm. Now, 
funny thing is, is that the, uh, sorry for my next impersonation, Max Levinson. Sorry, love you, kid. Anyway. Um, is he okay? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. That's but, just terrible yeah. about the blank pain. We don't, like when I was young, I, I, I really lusted after these watches, you know? Yeah. Well, also, like I said, he's got Max. You're getting the first. You're the first person to receive the the uh, the official Carnarial mug, and also I sent him the "fuck you, Mark Goldberg" watch to to do a review on the Clinton chronograph with the Venus movement. Mm. With the separate registers at twelve and six instead of three and nine. Now, the you know, funny part is, I've heard a couple. I mean, actually, a couple of my local grayheads around here basically speculated as for as for the holding back the rolex sports steel mouse models none of us know anything because you know rolex guard secrets somewhere along the lines of apple computer the mafia and the vatican but actually a couple of people said uh, around here it's speculated that you know it might be that they're just trying to build up interest in tutor I don't think so. I think they're just rotting it. Because they still discount Tudor. Well, yeah, but even if they're selling it, if they're selling it, selling it at a discount is still better than not selling it. Mm. Now, I, I was also wondering that, uh, I, you know, and and like I said, so I've heard all sorts of things. I've heard stainless steel sports. I, some people have, there have been talk on Rolex forums that they're actually cutting back on even all three, even two-tone and precious metal. And are they, either, you know, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I suspect it has something to do with money. It always has something to do with money. Yeah. Yeah, that's my point. I think, but to I, be honest with you, Clive, i got to be honest with you, I think fucking Rolex is too expensive. If you're a normal person... Which of the following scumbags do you think snaked Maximilian Baron Levinson <laughs> the fourth on that block pane? Tim Masso, Andy Hunter, Mark Goldberg, or Style Khan? I have no idea who Style Khan is. Mm, somebody nasty. Yeah. Well, okay. Number one, Tim Masso, as we know, only likes GLC. And he's not in Miami anymore. Yeah. Andy Hunter. I don't know where that no, Andy Hunter's in Canada, I think, or you know, somewhere snowy. I don't think it's him. Mark Goldberg um is in Chicago. Actually, is it is Mark flying to Bang uh to, Yes, he's in to Bangkok. Thailand, he's yeah? in Bangkok now, I think, isn't he? I think so. I think he's getting ready to leave. Or, and I, have no, no I, think he's, I think he's already left. He's there. Uh, style con. No idea. So, okay. So why do, why do you think they're cutting back on the Rolex? Oh, um, okay. You're saying, well, I was wondering because would you recommend that a new person start with Rolex? Because it used to be, you know, the Archie Luxury credo, the almost dogma is start with used sport steel sports stunners. Is that still really, is that still current? Is that still relevant now or is that outdated? Well, I, I kind of think, to be honest with you, I think Rolex is too expensive. Like a normal person has three US, four, five US. Getting into seven, eight, nine US is a lot of money for a lot of people. I think Rolex <clears throat> has decided to cash in on it and People want what they can't have. It's always the the girl you can't have that you lust after. If you could have her, you'd get sick of her, wouldn't you? Depends how freaky she is. I mean, and and a couple other attributes. But and also if she has yeah. also if she has a large dog. But anyway, but yeah, I, I see your point. But okay. Is it possible, though, do you think they'll gravitate towards date just or vintage possibly or not? I, I, I hate, think let's, let's pull up the Rolex page. Let's let's do a let's do a thought experiment. You want to. Well, actually, I guess I can do a split screen, can't I? Yes, you can. 
All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, Screen share. Right, right, right. So Google Hangouts. Am I sh okay? All oh, right, now. This video, this this live stream is brought to you by the wonderful Apple Macintosh, leaders in PC technology. All right, menu. On okay, uh, all Rolex watches. Mr. Perpetual date just. Mm -hmm. Datejust 41. So nice. It's mo modern configured. That's U.S. prices. That's U.S. prices, isn't it? Fuck, right. $9,000 for a fucking Datejust. Yeah. Material will go with steel. Steel, okay. Seven, and seven. Seven, yeah. Bezel will go with smooth. Yeah. Bracelet will go with oyster. Is oyster Dial. Oyster's cheaper, isn't it? Oyster's cheaper, but here is here's my point. Second hand, they prefer oyster. Well, they, they do because, it, and also steel. But, so 73.5, mm -hmm. though, can't, doesn't that, can't you almost get away with, okay. Archie, do you think Clive's Pornhub search includes Gilf Casting Couch, Midget Red Mud Wrestling, or Mark Goldberg? And guys, please, in the name of God, quit sending me messages on Facebook. Daddy is busy. All right. Um, no, it, it, well, keep in mind, it's everything is relative because keep um, what when you're 20 year old, what you see on as a MILF to me is a hot young thing. So, okay, but let's let's look at this. Look, I'm showing up on the screen, right? Or the yes. date just is. Yes. Now, don't you think that is kind of close ish to either maybe a Milgoss or a uh, oyster? Uh, like an explorer uh, or, or an air king yeah. or like a exactly. uh, it is very close i reckon that's a sports watch what do you think thank you like it, it's all it's as sporty as my iwc engineer isn't it no crown guards but, you know what i mean it's, it's very very but, sporty but, but, you get that with a blue dial it's fucking killer don't you think but seven three is that a lot of money fuck me dad well, it's, it's well it's, it's a well, lot it of money well, yeah, it is a lot of money, but, 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 on the other hand, if it's not a sports model, do you think you could possibly go in and try to haggle hard for it? Possibly you could, couldn't you? Well, yeah. what's, well, what's, what's, a, what's, what's, a, what's a sports Rolex with date? What's the cheapest Rolex sports date? Let's have a look at this, Clavey. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. What's, the, what's the cheapest sports date? That's what we want to know. Hmm. Uh, probably not going to be C dollar. Oh, by the way, I'll have to, you'll have to. Okay, do me a favor. I can either look or I can look on cast. I mean, uh, I can look or I can keep an eye on Super Chat. I can't do both. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'll keep probably, an eye on. I, I would say probably the Explorer would be my guess. Ah, uh, okay. Well, what does that cost then? What is Explorer two? Eight thousand one hundred. Okay, let's go and have a look at a sub no date. It's a sub date, sub date, sub date. How much is a well, sub let's date? Go, let's, let's look at okay. Well, let's look at both. Of course, keep in mind, uh, Submariner material discover. You know, actually, that's not looking. That's not looking that bad, really. Well, the trouble is, uh, here's the trouble, though. There's a yeah. waiting list for it. What's that for? That, um, so, so a no date is seven and a half US, right? Yeah, but on the other hand, that's that's new, it's modern, it's solid. That's not bad. I mean... Just out of interest, we've got a super chat in. I'll read that. You stay here, Clive. This is from Turbo, our good friend Turbo. My date just twos. Black dial was 23% off and silver dial was 28% off from the AD. I bought them because they seem to straddle the lines between sporty and dressy. I agree, Clive. The other thing is, too, the Datejust 2 was superseded now, hasn't it, Clive? You may have got a better discount on the Datejust 2 
because it was replaced but, by the Datejust 41. You agree with that, True. Clive? That's true, but they still might have those suckers at the boutiques. I don't see anything they, wrong with the date just two. Do you? No, actually, I don't. I don't see a darn thing wrong with it. Let's configure it. Um, discover. Well, wait. It's no it, configure. It's not doing anything. It's 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 saying no. Click on the other one. Okay. No. It, here's here's okay. Steal. Okay. My bad. Discover. Where, okay, nine thousand fifty for a Hulk. Yeah. Oh, wow, mm. that's so expensive. Yeah, but it's not really. It doesn't appear to. Okay, model. Nine thousand U.S. for a Hulk. Yeah, but okay, so. So nine thousand and seven thousand for the Explorer too. Uh-huh. Okay, Milgoss doesn't have a date. Hey, have a look at a GMT. What's a GMT going to cut us? A black, black, black GMT. What's that going to set you back? Good one. Let's do this. Uh, now, would the Air King be considered... Oh, wait. Uh, Turbo King, said when he, when he bought his, the uh, date, date just 41 hadn't come out yet. Okay, Tanzil, Archie, I travel with the Louis Vuitton Kipal 55 in Damler Graphite. Does this duffel bag say Mimi T would be prepared for Bukaki, or does it scream Arab chic? Arab chic. Nice. It's a great combo, but I love Graphite. Graphite is cool. Super, super cool. All right. So what are we looking at again? Uh, oh, we're GMT. looking at a GMT black, black, black. Come on. GMT Master 2. Here we go. Uh -huh. Configure. Huh. Steel. It's 8900. 8, Far out. What about the bezel? Click on the bezel. Um, I don't think it's allowing me. It oh, may not. No. It may, yeah. Well, what? No, I don't think it's showing it. Okay. So it might. So the black, black, black might be discontinued. So I mean. So, but but here's uh, but okay. Let's also look at the Air King. Air King has no date, of course, but. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's such a cool. Yeah. How much is an Air King? That's probably. That's a cool watch, the Air King. Sixty-two. You know, there was. 62. There was a year old. There was one from uh, 2017 in Dallas last year for like 52. Uh -huh. And if it wasn't if it wasn't so damn funky, I would have. Th I mean, I was actually going meh. Sixty two uh, may or may not be able to find it. See, that, that, that's a lot of money for a normal person, don't you think? Rolexes are expensive. Yeah. What do you think? I think so. Milgauss. Eight. How much what? for Milgauss? Eight, two for Milgauss. Far out. Yeah, far out in a bad way. Um, so. Your prices are the, quite expensive. These watches are expensive. Luxury wristwatches are very, very expensive. 36 dial. In the travel, I mean, the only... As for the Oyster Perpetual, the only one I'd consider really is the black. I mean, I, I don't think they want to do the black dial anymore because I think the black dial is too. I mean, I think if they had a black dial, everyone would go for the black dial and just almost leave the date oh. just. Oh. That's a new blue now, isn't it? That blue is it. That's a royal sort of blue, isn't it? Yeah. Simon Crane. But five thousand doesn't get you. Oh, okay. There you go. Great. Fifty-seven hundred. Fifty. Was it sixty-seven or fifty-seven? Fifty-seven hundred for 57. an oyster perpetual. Right. Okay. That's buying new. So you'd, you'd hopefully you'd, you you would you wouldn't be stupid enough to buy new, would you? But let's go back to the date. Pearl Master. I've never even seen that one. Archie, please explain to me why Louis Vuitton still sells hard case luggage. I'm on their website. And I don't know who would use hard case luggage. It's purely for, it's purely for cosmetic reasons. Like when you're a 
highfalutin guy and your house is perfect it's like my my studio look at this here guys i got my my luggage here i use it as a stand for my my light tent it just looks so cool that's what it's for nobody uses it it's it's it, it's the sort of luggage you take onto the titanic okay it's you can't what? use it on a plane it just looks good displayed around your house and you you pretend that it was your grandmother's or whoever and it was old money. You come from old money. That's the only reason you have that stuff. <laughs> it's fucking useless. I got to be honest with you. It is fucking useless. Even the briefcase. I can't even fly on an LCC with my president <coughs> because it's fucking <coughs> kilo limit. By the time I'm sitting <coughs> in it, I'm way over the fucking limit. Well, okay, but looking get looking back at the date just or or get or the uh, forty one mil, I mean, or the uh, date just too. Mm. Let's just, but so it's not a sports watch. I think you, if you could haggle and get that down to say, say get even if you got it like down a thousand bucks, that would be a compelling choice right there, don't you think? Yeah. I think for a lot of people, Rolex has priced itself out of the marketplace. Or aspirational. I mean, they they, th they seem to think they're bloody Patek. Arch, most of these assholes watching this aren't even old school fans of the channel. Please educate them on what you used to say to a man to, as to what you used to say a man put in his LV Louis Vuitton briefcase. The LV, see, the briefcase is one of the last bastions to hide porn. That's what it's for. It's to hide porn and to hide <laughs> hide rubbers. That's the whole point of this is if you're a married man, how do you explain? Where do you put your porn so it doesn't get damaged? It's one of the last bastions of manhood. And um, I, I really do love my set. Local reseller, actually right by my office. Okay. <clears throat> Jesus, Charlie, update your website. All right. Anything cool here, Clivey? <clears throat> uh, stainless steel date, just one six two zero zero. So that's like ancient. Mm -hmm. uh, Turnograph. It's a double one. That's a modern one. Which one? Date just two. Turnograph one one six two six four. That's a date just two, isn't it? Um, I think so. Let's look. Mm. I quite like uh, it. How much uh, is that? Oh, it's only a one single one. I thought it said double one in the ad, but anyhow. All right. Well, I don't even see a price on it, so. Mm, I hate it when they don't put a price, don't you? Yeah, actually, what's the point? Why, why have a website? All right, let's go to, shall we, or should we just go to sports? Platinum Day Date, <clears throat> Bellini Prince. Let's go to Sports Rolex, shall we? Sure. Air King. Mm hmm. By now. How much is the price? Give me a second. It's pulling up now. I thought it was pulling up. Nothing. Come on. Really? 5,200. How much was that? Okay, so it's like a thousand bucks off. Mm. Thousand bucks off brand new. Jesus Christ. Um, sea dweller, four thousand. Call for price. I hate that. Oh, well, in other words, yeah. Call for price. Let, okay, uh, Milgoss. White dial privilege. 
Oh, I'm not on dial-up. Shut up. I'm on DSL. 59, uh, 59.50 is what it, for the Milgoss. Uh, okay. Stainless steel explorer. Okay, let's look and see. This is this should be the 36 Explorer 1. By now. If you were getting into watches, would you buy the Tudor Black Bay or would you buy a boring Oyster Perpetual Rolex for more <sighs> money, for much more money? What would you buy? Oh, I'd, uh, so 46, four sales and 650 plus sales tax for the 36 mil. Oh, fuck. That's so small. Let's look at the uh, 39, shall we? Five thousand four hundred. That's weird. It just went jumped straight from that into the empty shopping chart. All right. What would you buy if, if you were new into the hobby? You wanted a watch. Would you, would you buy an overpriced Rolex or would you buy a Tudor? I hate to say it, I would probably go vintage. Okay. Tanzillan Super Chat. Arch. Art. When you're at the carousel waiting for your luggage to come off the plane, do you look down upon the peasants with their shitty luggage as you sit with your Louis Vuitton? Well, I um, I normally only have hand luggage. I'm too cheap to even check in luggage. So I normally have just taken okay. a pair of... Now, yeah. let's, also, let's also see here. This is 16623, okay? Mm-hmm. So the box is available with the original box booklets and our one-year warranty, but it doesn't say papers. Papers, Notice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 8,950. Okay. And so this is a 16623 of the white dial. This is, mm -hmm. the, you want to hear the markup this guy has? Here we go. You know, Woody, Woody in New York. Clive, please go into Bob's Watches website live. Okay. Oh, but okay. For this one though, mm -hmm. this is one six six two three. It's a white dial. Unlike he sold it for like eighty nine. And He's the reason why I get well, yeah, no kidding. But and the thing is though, he um, the reason why I got mine for five. My why? my blue why? dial because why? he he went, the guy took it uh, over there first, and he wanted to pay him four thousand five hundred. Oh, I see. So, yeah, literally, literally adding four thousand dollars to the cost of the freaking watch. What mm. a cheap, char cheap Charlie! Jesus Christ! Jewelers are not your friends. No, Bob's watches. There's been controversial things about Bob's watches. Like people are saying that they lowball you when you send anything to sell to them, and they um whatever prices they've quoted, they always knock yours and say, oh, it needs service, it needs this. Well, it's kind of funny, though. It's kind of funny when you sell them a watch, it's a piece uh, of shit. Just click later. Click OK, Clivey. Oh, no, it's... No, here we go. Jesus. Now, it's kind of funny. Their shelves are magic. You know, mm -hmm. notice that with jewelers? Yes. Because when you bring a watch in, they treat it like it's a turd. But mm -hmm. when they put it on that magic shelf, then it becomes treasure. Mm. So the only conclusion I have is that their shelves must have this magic power to them to give re holy relic status to turds. Because it was a turd when you bring it in and sell it. Yes, 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 yes. It magically changes once. Okay. Uh, hold on. All right. So what should we look for? Uh, let, let's go and have a look at uh, sports Rolex, Clivey. What's the cheapest sports Rolex you can get? That's going to be save up to 35%. Luxury watches, new arrivals, used Rolex. That sounds like a good place to start. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Max is back. Hi, Max. 
Um, Air King. Bob's watches is 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 um. I must admit he has nice photos there, but yeah. I kind of um. Have have any viewers bought from Bob's watches? Let us know in the comments. Well, okay, yeah, please. Um. What's a nice Clive? Why don't you bring up a uh, a no date sub? What's a no date sub going to cost from Bob's watches? Well, I was noticing there's a Rolex Air King, a one four zero zero zero. Yep, that's Box a thirty four mil, bit small. Yeah, but uh, basically, he'll buy it from you for twelve thousand bucks. He'll sell it to you for thirty four ninety five. At least, at least you, at least he's being fairly transparent about what is what his profit margin is. Okay, which of the following should every man do before they die? Own a Patek, drive a Ferrari, have a threesome with Cuban chicks, or troll Matlock and Super Chat. Actually, troll I think Matlock on Super Chat. I knew you're going to pick that one. I knew you're going to pick that one. Mind you, the Cuban anyway, chicks was a hard one. I was thinking about the Cuban chicks. See, si. muy caliente. All right, uh, which one are we going to look at? Okay, uh, no date sub. All right. Uh, no date sub. Sorry, it's just like can hold on for a second. On, I'm on. A fucking live stream. Five dollar Jade Mill AC three voice is used on a harassment video against Greg Bender Twitchy. Wondering if this is authorized by the character creator. AC three voice is used on a harassment video. Who's who's Greg? Bender Twitchy. I don't even know who that is. I don't know. I'd... Okay. Send me the link. I'll have a look. Because if, if he's used it without my permission, he owes me some money. Hmm. So it's YouTube. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Well, no need to give that guy publicity. Okay, Submariner. Mm -hmm. Bluesies, blue. Jesus. Okay, no, no, that's ceramic. Never mind. Okay. That's what I was <gasps> but that's still pretty damn high. I see. Um. It's it's always so, a, um, I don't know. Six, six, would you go to Bob's ten. watches? Uh, there. Let me look at that one. Actually, hold on. <laughs> no, see, no. Actually, uh, if you find a one six eight zero zero early edition, I can. I, I okay, Clive. See, please see DelrayWatch.com for some good fakies. No, we're not gonna. No, we're not no. gonna go there. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Uh, let's see how those look. Seven, let's see, I, I, I want six eight zero zero. If you can find an early edition one, mm. that would be swell because it kind of looks like a four digit. But yeah, because it has the the no indices around the the markers. You know, right? Exactly. Uh, 1975. Jeez. Oh, service dial. I was going to say, what? Oh. Service dial, service dial. 1680. Matt Tritium dial, 78. Mm, very Boy, interesting you know, selection you know there. I, yeah. You know, I, you know, I have, no, you know, I've noticed, though, there's a lack of. What's that? No dates. Uh-huh. No who, who who advised people years mm -hmm. ago that the no date sub was for purists? Yep, yep, I know, Clivey, but no one thanks me. No one thanks me, Clive. I didn't get a brass razoo out of it. Let me tell you that now. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm proud to wear my Tudor. Proud to have a Tudor, Clivey. You're wearing a Breitling hat. Yeah, I'm taking it off. I think the cover beetles have gotten underneath. The flap there. My hair is itchy, you know. I need a scalp. 
a scalp massage. Delousing. Mm. Delousing. So, uh, there's these special showers they have in Europe that... Anyway, go ahead. Tell me this, Clive. What are you buying? Tell me what's happening with you. What are you buying? You bought the Amiga. Tell me what you're doing. I want to know what you're doing. I bought the Amiga. Um, I accidentally bought a Seiko. Okay, what model? Well, it's called a po. Uh, hold on. Super Chats. Five dollars, Tanzil, and sorry, Arch. It seems you've gone full circle on buying some of the watch brands you used to own back in the day, Breitling, Breguet, etc. What about Cartier? They still suck. Okay. Fair enough. Chanel, Johnny UU vlog. Why two vloggers? The flat facts. Two dollars super chat by Jade Mile. No idea what that means. Channel Johnny UU vlog YT vloggers the facts. Uh, look, I don't mind. He's used my voiceover. That's okay. I'm not going to get upset about it. It's okay. It's okay. I really don't care. That's okay. Well, actually, when you think about it, isn't any? I mean, it's, the thing is, contact him and so he, as long as he gave credit to you. Uh, for the I don't think he did. I'd, I'd rather stay with that argument. I'd rather stay out of it, to be honest with you. So, no, that's okay. I don't mind. You've used my voice there. That's okay. That's okay. I, I really That doesn't really upset me. That's okay. It's nice that they've they've used my voice as a reference point. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to – I think they just leave it be. That's okay. He, he hasn't used a lot of my content, stolen stuff. It's just a quick voiceover. Ah, oh, that's okay. Let it, let it ride, Clyde, as you get older. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just not being so serious. Ah, oh, that's okay. I don't. I don't mind. I'm not here to. Well, I just leave okay. it be. Uh, I was going to get a Pogue, and uh, Uberoki's pocket jeweler had. He's like, "Well, I've got a. I've got a Pogue case. I've drank. Okay, two dollars super chat. Woody New Yorker, Archie AC three. Please explain MIGTOW. A book, maybe. Mm, okay, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Okay, Clive Smoke, he drank. Well, okay. Um, well, I'm looking at... Um, so, the, the here's the, the trouble is, so it's just like... So, they, Uroki's Pocket Jeweler had this really nice, minty, sharp little Pogue case. You're, you're from... Oh, fuck me. Here we go again. Okay, Archie, would you prefer eating fried chicken waffles off Federico's Sicilian buttocks or tickle TGV's balls by telling your audience today about your plans to buy a Squally for the channel weight ratings. I'm actually considering buying a Squally on eBay for the channel ratings. Yes, I would. I am. I am seriously considering it. And uh, yeah, I, I. I don't know what to do next because if I can't make a living out of this YouTube thing, it's time go hard or get out. That's my attitude now. Go hard or get out. So we'll definitely see. What I can do there. Well, when you get older, it's probably going to be more of a choice or of get hard or go out. Okay. Anyway, um, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, Uberoki is bringing a couple of Mov vintage Movados for me to look over. Uh huh. And, and the thing is, everyone's like, oh, Movado. You know, but on the other hand, the vintage, the vintage stuff, like if you're, if we go back to the, like the mid fifties or even before, yeah, some of the Movados are actually pretty decent. A lot of the Movado, a lot mm -hmm. of the, a lot of the vintage Movados, this, this is back before Patek Philippe became entirely in house. Mm hmm. A lot of times, the people that's a, uh, for fucks. Clive, give us your best Matlock impersonation. Uh, n I, I really cannot. I haven't really watched that much Matlock, so sorry. Um, I can't think of anything that comes. No, nothing comes to mind. Anyway, with Mov with Movado, though, a, a lot of times the people that supplied the Movado back in the day also supplied stuff to protect the leap. So the, the two, the two actually have a lot of common 
from for from vent from a vintage point of view. Mm. So I might be looking at a Movado like a uh, vintage Movado triple date. I see. And I gotta admit the the white. Uh, uh, okay, but come on, isn't this? Uh, actually, did can you put up a picture of my dial on screen or not? Mm, that is beautiful, Clive. Did you send me a picture of it? I did on iMessage. Okay, right, let me just get it. I'll bring it up, Clive, because your three dollar camera just I don't know how to put it, Clivey. It just doesn't do it justice. Is it okay for me to say that? Well, I'll have to uh send it back. No, I'll have to well, like I said, it came with a two thousand dollar MacBook, but hey. That's okay. All right, mail. I got to tell you, that's got the most beautiful linen so, sort of dial on that Omega. That's just fucking sexy. And it's, it's, uh, what it's size is it? It's thirty. What size is it? Thirty three, thirty four, thirty five. Um, I think it's thirty. I think it's thirty five. But it's actually for the day. It was quite large. And that bracelet. What did? What did? What? What's? What's the verdict on it? That that is original bracelet. Uh, I think so. Certainly the class, but keep in mind back in the day, it's not like, and, uh, actually don't worry about that Clive. I'm going to bring up a picture of it very soon. Okay. But back, you know, like I said, back in the day though, it could, was could, bits and bobs. It was, I would, the, the uh, if you of it, Clive, I will give you your, what you paid for it back. I would love that watch Clivey. I love I think, that. I think you got a fucking bargain. I got to be honest with you. That is a fucking bargain. You understand? That's what it is. It is a. I'm just bringing it up now, Clivey. Just bear with me. Fuck. And you know the thing I love about this watch? I love the way the dial, it's like a cloth dial, a linen dial. Don't ever fucking touch this dial. Never touch no. it. Just leave it, okay? Was it serviced? Did you service it? Tell me the story, please. Oh yeah, it was. It was serviced, actually. Yes. Lightly polished. I can see a little bit of lightly polished. <laughs> Tiny bit, but not much. No, no, it's okay. Um, I I actually I, really fucking love. I love the applied Amiga logo. It's yeah. got applied markers. I love the and, hands. The hands. I just love the mm -hmm. simplicity of the hands. Yep. So, so what year are we talking? Hard to tell, but it apparently it's like an early, early, early it's manual wine, by the way. What do you say? 50s, 60s, I would say? Early 50s. 60s? 50s, but it's actually, I looked up the reference. And the ref, mm -hmm. I sent you, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I sent you a copy of the. You told uh, me it's the, a Seamaster. But see, they use Seamaster like on everything they put it, it doesn't mean it's waterproof they just use the oh, word oh i'm not going to i'm not gonna, there's no there's no effing way i'm going to take it no, but i mean seamaster was just a word they 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 put on fucking everything you know except you'll notice except you'll notice there's none that doesn't say seamaster on the dial yeah now clive i'm just going to bring up the other picture which is amazing which is the bracelet now this bracelet i i honestly suspect I don't think you realize this. That bracelet's probably worth more than the fucking watch. Possibly, but it's an mind, original it, Amiga bracelet. Well, it's got an original Amiga clasp. So, what does the, the guy you got it off say? Well, he's he's a pocket jeweler. What does he say? What did he say? He's he's. Tanzone, he okay, Tanzone, sorry. Yes, Archie, okay. Fuck off right now with this vintage shitter talk. You don't even recommend a red sock. <laughs> you don't even recommend a red sub. You chocolate chip cock muffin. Okay, I, I was okay, Tanzil. I was really annoyed at you, but for some reason, chocolate chip cock muffin it sounds so great. That actually is pretty decent. Um, oh, I, I don't mind looking at. I think we've got to have a bit of a look at some vintage stuff there. I thought you can't just talk about new, boring shit. I actually, I got to be honest with you, Clive. I fucking love this watch. I would, I'd fucking buy it off you in an instant if you didn't want it. Oh, for what I paid for it, you, I bet your sweet bippy you would. It's fucking gorgeous. What do you think? 
Ah, I love it. I mean, I really, really love it. And, and does it fit? I can't, I, you didn't need to. Is there extra links? You got spare links, or that's it? And it fitted, or what's the go? No, that's, that's that's it. I think yeah. It just managed to. So apparently, it was a big boy it had in the first place. It, the bra the bracelet is all the way out. Someone's saying that bracelet is around nine hundred pounds. That's Graham C. Smith Coso Miffy. He said the bracelet yeah. is nine hundred pounds. No, it's really any, light. Any old Amiga's it's, used no, no, rice no. bracelets? No. No, it's really light. Nine hundred British pounds. Well, don't their pounds weigh the same as ours? Yes. Super Archie, chat from Ronnie. Paul. Just got an email from an AD near me. They have the new swell sea dweller with red writing. Thirteen thousand eight hundred Canadian. Should I get it? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's sort of retail. What's retail on that? That's retail, isn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay, I think that's retail, no discount. But so what? Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Yeah, if you because, can. It'll, because there's a waiting list. Because there's a waiting. I mean, right now, I, I almost, we almost need to wonder, go around and see how long the waiting lists are ADs. Mm. I mean, that is a, that's a Rudy Dobson flipper special right there. That and the, uh, that and the um, GMT. Mike Dennington, hello. Mike. How are you, Mike? Thank you for your contribution to the channel. Mike got a bit upset when I made a video. I got I, he 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 made an offer, and I kind of said some. Nah, I'm sorry, Mike. I love you. I love you, Mikey. What? You, is he gay? Yeah. Uh, oh, Mike's he is cool. Gay. Mike's a cool guy. No, Mike is a cool guy. Mike Mike's a nice guy. He's he's cool. He supported well, the channel for a long time. You said you love him, and we all know you love Game In, so I was wondering. If I was... love everyone who's a fan, viewer, contributor to this channel because I need to survive on YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, yeah, I mean, God dang, I like this thing. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to see how good the Movado is because, well, it, you know, you saw the you saw the Hoyer, right? You saw some of these vintage pieces. I mean, you know, some of those vintage chronographs. $5 super chat. Archie, should Clive put up a Canadian flag up on his wall since most of your super chat sponsors are Ch Canucks? Oh, Canucks. Canada. Canucks. Canada, Canada, our home and native land. Anything that goes well. I love Canadians. You know that? I love Canadians. Okay. Um, actually, I think you should be the one putting up the... Uh, the red Canadian maple flag. leaf on your wall. Yeah, I do love the maple syrup, Clive. I will let you know that. Maybe it would attract more carpet beetles. Anyway, mm. but in in it, you look. At, but this is known. As, I mean, this is known at the time. This is known for an, as an exceptionally large piece, especially mm. for a manual wine. But mm. you know, I just love this thing. I got to tell you, Clive. That's a fucking steal. Any other watches you've bought? Uh, well, there's a Seiko uh, Seiko uh, BMW. Did you send me a photo of that? I don't have a good photo of it. I it, okay. I don't Seiko have. On BMW. What's a Seiko BMW? I don't understand. Explain it, Clivey. Um, it's a homage that Seiko made to BMW in the early '70s. It has the same. It has the same movement as the Pogue. It was uh, Seiko's first automatic chrono uh, chronograph movement. And the thing is, it's also known as the BMW because it has the steel bracelet with holes in it, kind of like the BMW steering wheel. As a matter of fact, I was going to get it and use it as a donor movement for the Pogue. I, oh. I sent a pack. So I sent to Max, and it's just like. Uh, so, hey, well, I hate the donor watch. I mean, hey, just got this in. He's like, oh, cool. You got a Seiko BMW. I'm like, I do? I was going to use it as the donor watch. And, mm. you know, basically, actually, Max was telling me that you can't, you know, you don't sacrifice one icon to resuscitate another one. So that's the story of how Clive ended up with an unintentional Seiko. That's okay. That's okay. So tell yeah. me this. Um what do you think would be better for ratings? My next purchase would either be a Grand Seiko or a Pam. Tell me, Clive. I'd, th I'd say either one. Either one. 
you want me to just mail you my Pam Zero? No, 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 no. I want to own it, Clive. I want to buy one. I'm buying a submersible, okay? We'll talk. We'll I want talk. to get a submersible, Clivey, because... I, okay, we'll talk. We'll talk. Uh, Clivey, i got to tell you, honestly, uh, I've decided in my life the endless quest for pussy. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to put that into a box. I really think for me to be... You're going to put the quest for a box into a box. Yes. The, honestly, i tell you the honest truth is I love watches. You know that? I really do mm -hmm. love watches. And uh, that's what I like most, can, is watches. After, I want watches. At, at the end of the day, you can talk to them, and they don't talk back. That's it. I, Clive, you hit it on the head. Tell me this. What are you selling? Last time I spoke to you, I want to know, have you sold anything since we've spoken? What are you sold? Uh, yeah. You know that no-date oh, sub? What the fuck? Shut your fucking mouth. You didn't sell the no-date sub. No, I just asked if you, if you knew it. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't sold that. Good, 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 good. And you keep the Sea Dweller as well. Um, well, the White Milgas? You haven't sold that, I hope. No, I haven't sold a damn thing. I haven't, I've, been, I've actually been kind of busy with my job. <clears throat> what, are you, what are you looking at selling? Tell me, because people can always contact you. What are you looking at selling? I, I think the president. You think I should sell the president? Well, I, I mean, it gives you a lot of money to play and buy other things. You know, sure. you know what I mean? And Archie, $10 super chat. Yep. Archie, what is more desirable for a polished gentleman? Filet show from the New Zealand chick that interviewed you on the project, a Piaget ultra thin watch or scotch and soda. Cool. I think the scotch and soda could be really cool. <laughs> I think the Maori chick was kind of, was kind of cool. You know, actually. She was yeah, very, she was, cool. she was yeah. very, she was quite nice. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind a bit of feisty, feistiness. Tell me, Clive, what are, Spirited. what are you going to sell? Tell me, I want to know what your, what's your plans for sales? Cause, cause someone could contact you and you could do a deal directly. Tell me what you're looking at selling. Tell me what you well, want. How, how about that? What about that blue date? Just blue dial date? Just, but it's mint. I wouldn't sell that because you <laughs> always, See, that's a trouble. <laughs> that's the trouble, yeah, but it's a really nice we... example. Don't sell it. It's a really nice uh, example. Don't, you don't want to sell something. I reckon the president, get rid of the president, okay? Get rid of the president because it's a lot of money and... Actually, actually, um, yeah, we'll see. It's just like trouble is if I ask, if I have put the same collection in, in front of five people, all five will tell tell me different pieces. And that's, and that's the, you know, that is the kind of the trouble with it. And the, and the, what would well, you want okay. for your president? What do you want for the president? Tell me, give 85. me a prize. 85. Eighty-five hundred bucks for your president, right? That's that's not ridiculous. No, it's not. It also includes the box. It also includes the booklet, and okay. also certain. You know, I had it a pr professional. What about? Praised. What about? Would you get rid of um, any of those vintage chronographs you bought, or your their keepers? The cheap that's, keep no. There's actually there's act there's actually that's what I'm actually considering a couple. I'm thinking about, but okay. Clive, why haven't you got those hot chicks from Watchbox to come in here as guests? Do American chicks have no respect for senior citizens these days? I asked. I really did. And they actually, they uh, they did send me a very nice response back saying, right now we are having to explore putting our efforts into our own channel before appearing on someone else's. And, and Tanzil, if you super chat Archie another $5, I'll tell you if they sent tip pics or not. You think he's going to fall for it? Yeah, let's see what happens. Hey? Yeah. Okay. I can always Google some. Yeah, actually. So tell me this, Clivey. Um, now, there's a couple of the chronographs, and, and there's there's actually more on, I mean, more on the way, or there might be more on the way. But, but you didn't I, pay a lot of money for them. No, I didn't. But here's the nice thing. Um I didn't pay. I didn't pay a lot of money for this either. But you've you've you know, I can remember a couple of times we've shown pictures of the chronographs on there. I mean, weren't those weren't those like really freaking intense, especially the, the quality of the dials? Mm. 
what would you sell that on the channel for that that have you seen that on chrono with that bracelet what are they going for this one no i have not i have not, i haven't even looked i just got it in yesterday oh, i just see. i've just been i've just been doing enjoying the hell out of it um mm -hmm. you know the pug would be a quick flip or, What's the pug? or even, What's the, which one's the pug okay the pug is just look up Seiko Pogue. It's got a, it's cr a chronograph. It's one of the first chronographs. It has a yellow dial. Oh, for fuck's sake! Here we go. Again. Archie, which of the following have you sent? Which of the following has sent, have sent you tit pics? Miss Spiderbite, Nana Kim, or Federico? None of the above. Okay. Which would you like to send you tit pics? Uh... Any of the females would be fine. Okay. Where were we? I forgot again. Uh, we were talking oh. about the Pogue. Oh, sell me your 14060. I don't think so, son. That'd be like one of the last ones. Um. Jeez. No birds. I mean, yeah. Or do you think I should sell the Hoyer triple day? Oh, I know the Pogue. It's got that yellow dial, hasn't it? Yellow dial. Pepsi. Uh, Pepsi. Another, a yellow, and then a Pepsi outer bezel. A, a Pepsi outer bezel. Then a yellow mm. or white inner bezel. I don't know. You think maybe I should sell the uh, Hoyer triple day? No. I think that's great investment potential. What do you think? Yeah. And that's uh, everything I've got is like great investment. That's the, yeah, that's, that's the, the problem. Pogue there. That's the Pogue there, Clive. Yeah. The one on the, actually the two on the, the two on the right. Mm -hmm. are Pogues. Or actually the one specifically second from the right is they're, they're actually kind of forgiving about it. The Seiko guys aren't quite as anal retentive as the Swiss watch collecting community, but mm -hmm. uh, as long as it has a yellow dial, a yellow, I mean, a yellow inner bezel and a Pepsi outer bezel, it's fine. But technically, technically it should say the water resistance on, to the left of the nine o'clock indice. Oh, I see. Cool story. You you hear you want to hear the story about it? Sure, sure, sure. Please do. Well, no, it's it's David Pogue was a colonel, Air Force. Mm -hmm. He was up for the Apollo program, but then government cutbacks forced him off. You know, they they canceled his Apollo flight, so he didn't mm -hmm. go, go. He didn't get to go to the moon. So I said, "Well, hey, Colonel, uh, tell you what, what we'll do is we'll we've got this new thing we got going. It's called Skylab. So it's mm -hmm. an extended space stay." Mm -hmm. So, what do they give all astronauts? A wristwatch. Before they go into space. What kind of wristwatch? An Amiga. Speedmaster Professional. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, however, him, they didn't give him the Omega. They expected him to train, but they didn't give him the Amiga until right before the launch. Mm -hmm. So, what he did is he went to the post exchange and he bought a Seiko. Clive, do you think Archie is more interested in Colonel Pogue or Colonel Sanders and his famous Kentucky Fried Chicken? Tanzil, I don't think we have to. We know we both know the answer to that question. So, so, so anyway, tell me, so, 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 going on the space he, flight, he trained on this. He trained with the Seiko, mm -hmm. and they gave him the they gave him the Speedmaster right beforehand. He's like, I don't know any what. Do you, fine, slaps on. So what he did is he then took the Seiko, stuck in his pocket, and took it up and took it into space with him without telling anybody. So then, once he got in the Skylab, pulls it out of the pocket, sticks it on those left wrists, ignores ignores the Speedmaster, and, and uses the Seiko the entire time. Mm -hmm. No one said anything about it, but basically people figured out because he was up there for almost a year. Mm -hmm. and they enough footage and everything else. They looked and said, "That's not a Speedmaster." And eventually, the story came out that he took the that he took it up there. It was not authorized. So it's kind of it's kind of got a cool. So it's a space watch, but it's not. It's like Rogue. Rogue. Un unauthorized. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. I like Rogue. Rogue. We love Rogue. Yes. 
So yeah, that's why ever and then it came out until some time later. But I guess he also figured, hey, I'm a freaking colonel. What are they? What are they going to do? Yes. So yeah, yes. I, I think it's I think it's a great story, and it's actually a very affordable, if not officially authorized, space watch. Mm, that's an amazing story. That, that's a very interesting. It's a very interesting story. Now, Clyde, how are you going for time there? Uh, it's eight o'clock here. It's precisely eight o'clock because my Omega tells me this. Hey, that's good. Good, 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 good. Dead on accurate. God, I love this thing. Tell me some other interesting things. That was that. That was actually a very interesting story on the the Pogue there. Okay, five dollars super chat. Archie, doesn't this Colonel Pogue sound like TGV's true ancestor? Not really gentry and one that prefers a shitter over a speedy. Okay, Tanziel, Tanziel. He got that because they wouldn't give him. They didn't him surprise. Uh, they did not. Um, they didn't authorize him because of budget cutbacks. They didn't give him the watch he was supposed to use until literally he was getting on the rocket. So they screwed him once with budget cutbacks. They almost screwed him again with budget cutbacks. Hello. Oh, Hello. here we go. Wow, Hi. we got Don. How hello, Don? Good. I'm wearing my. Man on the moon. That's the sandwich one, isn't it? Nope. I has a light. Hasselite, Ox, Hasselite. Hey, Donnie. Donnie, do you approve of my two new watch purchases? Yes or no? What are they? I wasn't paying attention to your uh, watch purchases lately. Oh, hey, Don? Yep. You want one? I do. Let me to, your address. To, to ban Don, we need $200 oh. Canadian dollars, Tanzil. How much, how much to ban Don? Don's pretty good. I like Don. You know what I, I like mean? Him. Yeah, well, we think, we're going to make it a high figure. 200 bucks to ban Don. I'm sorry. Because we like Don, but 200 bucks is too much. Sorry, Don. It's, 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 it's 10 pieces of silver. If you weren't useful, it would be 20 bucks. But because you are actually quite a useful guy, it's 200 bucks. Really? Nice. I'm this is a band for life. This is a band for life. No, I think that's a. Nice. I think two hundred bucks. I think it's a yearly ban. You reckon? <laughs> oh yeah. So they want a ban for life. They basically have to send you two hundred dollars a year. I mean, two hundred dollars a year until Don dies or you do. I got five hundred dollars to ban another individual. Right. Right. So I have a question. What were your two watch purchases? Okay, Tudor Black Bay Heritage Burgundy. I like movement. it. I love it. I'm yep. actually wearing like it, it now, Donnie. I'm actually wearing the sucker now. There we go. What do you think about the Pelagos left-hand drive? I think that's a cool-looking watch with the red lettering in it. Mm, undecided at the moment. And the second watch was a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 with the in-house. Uh... Yeah, it's better than the other one you had. Yeah, it's 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. <clears throat> Two hundred bucks to ban him, Clive. What do you reckon? Oh hell, no! I I think it ought to be more than that. He actually brings he actually brings legitimate knowledgeable watch knowledge to the show. Two hundred bucks. Do you know I how desperate for money I am at the moment? It, it to, I hate to, I hate to say this, but he calls himself the Don. But when it comes to movements. He's, he's, pretty, he's the watch father. He is the watch very father. Donny, 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 Donny. How is yeah. life treating you? Good, good man. Um, do you know the difference between the house movement in the Brightly? Sucker Horns asked me how much how much would any discount for mates arch? Hundred dollars for the Sucker Horn Aussie would ban you, the dog. You just interrupted me. All right, so listen. Is this, we're talking about a hundred dollars. Difference. Do you understand a hundred dollars? Yes, I understand a hundred dollar. Okay. All right. So, do you know what the difference between the in-house movement is from the Breitling movement and the Tudor movement that generates Super that chat. Come from Rolex? Super chat. Archie, <sighs> don't interrupt. Paid more. You for your burgundy Tudor piece of shit, poor man's Rolex, 
or Don to the hookers that had to give him his first handy? I think I paid, I, I paid I, I paid full sticker for the tutor. No discount. Hmm. Do you know the difference between the tutor movement and the Breitling movement? They're the same movements. Nope. There's mm -hmm. a, they're missing different they have different parts. Oh yeah, Did I know. know no, they don't have the they don't have the, the, the hair springs not as good on the on the on the bright Correct. Very good. I'm very yeah. happy. The silicone you hair spring is only you told in the me that. You told I told me you that. that. I know. I'm the one that told you that. Because I am the watch father. Mm. You know, I actually say this, but he actually calls me and gives me tutoring at night. <laughs> we have like a lesson every night. Here we go, okay. Don. Today I was at an Amiga boutique where they tried to tell me a man no, on no, the no, moon. Archie, 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 Archie. Look, no, you're supposed to ask him a question, get him oh. involved in super in, in conversation, then interrupt him with the super chat. Okay. Trust me, it's much more fun this my okay. way. Okay, sorry. So, sorry. Don, what do you think? Who do you think makes the best movement on the uh, market today? Lange, a lange it's on it. What do you think that is? They use a thick German silver three-quarter plate. Super chat. Don, today I was at Omega. See how fun that is? Yes. Keep Don, going. Don, today I was at Omega Boutique where they tried to sell me a man on the moon that was uh -huh. made with a column wheel. What's the best chronograph movement under 6K? Now, that's Here's actually a great question Suda. because he, he gets annoyed. Well, I'm about to answer, but you keep talking. All right, there's two. Um, a used Glass Huta original chronograph from like is awesome if you get a 70s or a 60s, probably a 60s, six, but it's got to be used. New, oof, you got to get like a gray market or heavily discounted Jigger La Culture Master Control that has a column wheel and a vertical clutch. Um, and then the best movement. Under six, under five grand, if you want to be a little cheaper, it's probably an El Primero. The best chronograph under three grand is a used Speedy. <laughs> what? Sorry, I was just doing a happy dance. And uh, the main reason why I prefer a vertical clutch and a column wheel, um, and the only company that will give you that bang per buck is going to be Jigger La Coltra or... Bless the original on the used market. You're getting them new under six is hard because th there's just not a lot available. And um, there's not a lot of companies that make column wheels with vertical clutches. Now, you can get watches that have column wheels that are cheap if you go to like a, uh, a Longines or something, but it's still not going to have the vertical clutch. Mm -hmm. How would the, so? How would how would the Longines Big Eye compare to the ones you just listed? It's not regulated as as tight. They're not regulated, and because they're not regulated, I can't really recommend them unless you want to have a fun chronograph and send it to get regulated. Like my Speedy, I sent to uh, Manfredi Jewelers, um, and they regulated it for me for sixty bucks. Oh, you got it back. Good. I, okay, remember you telling me about that. That's why I'm wearing it. I sent it to uh, Harry Papa Thomas or something. His name is there. Okay. So how would you describe, um, how would you, uh, do you think that Longines Big Eye is worth the asking price? It is if you send it to get regulated. Yeah. If you don't okay. send it to get regulated, then no. Super chat. Another super chat for the Don, for the watch father. Yes. I'm the watch father. And, okay. Don, describe the best movement maker between these boutique manufacturers. MBNF, Erwerk, mm -hmm. H. Moser and C, or Christian van der Klaw? Yeah, they're all good. Um, at that level, to be honest, they're all hot horology brands, and they're all incredibly, unbelievably, mind-blowingly well-made. However, if I had to choose, 
I think MBNF is giving you a little bit more bang per buck. Christian Vanderclef is also amazing. Um, I'm not a big Urwerk fan. I never was. They're kind of like they're very similar to MBNF. They've actually done a lot of collaborations, kind of like together. Um, and what was the other one he said? I'm missing one. Um, Ervac, MBNF, H Moser and C. Oh, H Moser. Yeah. All right. Listen, H Moser makes honest, good movements. They're not earth-shatteringly well-made. They're not earth-shatteringly well-polished. They're still using their brass. They're in-house. They're making their own hair springs. They're doing a lot of cool stuff. They make a lot of the stuff themselves. It doesn't necessarily mean it's better, but they have some cool things. It's like they're good, but you got to get them at the right price at a good discount. You got to get them used because they're, they're, it's like the hot, it's like a brand that's trying to be a hot brand, but it's not, you know, hot or it's hot. like the hot, hot uh, or luxury. Um, okay. I mean, I, I'm, I like H Moser. I like the concept. I want to like them more, but I don't feel that the, the fit and the finish and the quality is worth the asking price, you know? Right. You okay. We have another. Over, we have another super chat. Yeah. Ten dollars super chat. Don, go fuck yourself. Seiko speed. T- no, no. Keep in mind that's part one. We covered part one. Number two. Seiko speed timer six one three nine six thousand from nineteen sixty nine. You can buy for five hundred dollars is a vertical clutch column wheel. The one that yes. competed for first world auto- automatic chronograph with Zenith and others. Correct. That, is that, that's the same movement that's in the Pogue, I think, right? Um, no. <clears throat> that's the same movement that they developed the Tag Heuer Carrera chronographs from that they took from Zeko. <laughs> they kind of evolved them into them. It's a great movement. The problem with them is finding one that works. The hair springs and the old ones weren't that great, and they weren't um, free-sprung balances. They were balanced, balanced wheels. So Seiko didn't take the time to regulate them as closely as the newer movements that even TAG is doing today because they upgraded the balance wheel and the new ones. And the ones that are in the Grand Seiko um, spring drive, the column wheel vertical clutch, kind of came from that technology, but it's completely different because they had the spring drive technology to it. The okay. the best, they are really good chronographs too from Grand Seiko, by the way, but they are ugly. I think they're so ugly. Oh my God. I can't okay. recommend them because they're so bad looking. Um, quick question. If you, um, if you take a movement out of one watch, if it's the same movement and stick it in another watch, does that make it a Franken watch in your opinion? Let's just say, for instance, you take a watch out. Of, if I let's, take just say, a, oh. let's just say, and like oh. I said, two, two, two watches with the same movement. One, okay. let's just say for sake of argument is a Seiko Pogue. The other one is at the same aged Seiko BMW, same chronograph movement. Pull, like I said, because as you, they can be hard to service. They can be hard to find parts for. If you pull the movement out of the BMW that works, pop it in the Pogue, reattach the hands, does that make the Pogue a Franken watch? Yes, it does, because the uh, serial number isn't going to match the number on the uh, movement. And if you don't have matching numbers, it's, it is a Franken watch. That's why the, the danger of vintage. Yes, it is a Franken watch, to be technically honest. It's because it's not okay. original anymore. So it's like a car with a replacement engine. But on the other hand, what yeah. are the, isn't there a good chance with watches that age? So that's going to be that's going to be a problem with watches that age anyway. No, because if they're all original, then they went to just watchmakers and replaced the parts if they broke, not the actual movements themselves. Okay, Max, like I take it back. Gear. Sorry, let me almost take it back. Hey, a guy that stole the thirteen-year-old's watch. Good job, buddy. I've switched sides. I've reconsidered. 
What's the cheapest in-house mechanical watch you can get? Oh, what's you that? Know? Another one? Okay, no. Don, Don, another $5 super chat from what's that, Kelsey. John? Don? Don, what $5 super chat from Kelsowitz. Don, what Rolexes would you get on the waiting list for? Good question. I want a Batman. Should I buy used? Please come on the show more often. Okay, um, I think that if you want to keep the watch, the 43 millimeter Sea Dweller is a good watch to get on the list for. I'm not a big fan of the 3135 movement. I mean, sorry, I am a big fan of the 3235 movement that's upgraded that they put in it. The main reason why it has 70 hour power reserve instead of 48, and it has the uh, the Paraflex shock absorber that they put in there. So it has more goodies and more gadgets than the old one. And the escapement is 15% more efficient. And uh, it's going to be a more accurate rocks watch than uh, over time than the regular run-of-the-mill Submariner. Um, I, if you want to keep it, that would be great. Um, the Daytona in steel mm -hmm. is a good bag. It's got a column wheel and a vertical clutch. Um, but you really want to make sure that if you buy one, that you kind of want to that's a great watch to flip because I think they wear a little small. They're nice though. Um, now, what was the second part of the question? I don't know. It disappeared and we have another $5 super chat. I mean, it's just like, which oh, one? Used so Batman. Use yeah. Batman. Um, no, don't get the used Batman. Just get a new one. You won't have any problems with it. Okay. $5 super chat for Don. And Don, what was your name again? What is your title? The Watch Father. Okay. Don, mm -hmm. as a purveyor of leading edge technology, do you recommend Archie purchased 3D printer so he can sell AC3 made mm -hmm. AC3 made to scale dildos to the Asian market? I think you should buy it. No. I mean, you can get them injecting mold, injection molded versions of it that are better, you know? Okay. I'm all for injection molding for your dildos. More bang per okay. buck. You uh, okay? Also, let's let's put the camera back on, okay? Mm hmm. No, you you took the camera off. You've got you're showing your talking jeep now. Oh, a talking jeep. Yeah. The video isn't working due to a problem with the camera. What's going on? Okay. Can you hear my voice? I can hear your voice. But I was going to ask you a question about you, where you're at right now, but that's no problem. Okay, never mind. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm not going to read. Okay. I'm not going to read free comments off, off the boards. I don't care how funny they are. We have rules. We have standards. That's right. So what do you think, what do you think about um, the date just – with a smooth bet with and steel with a smooth bezel and oyster bracelet, do you think that would be close enough to straddle between um, sports to get away with a one and done Rolex? Um, no, that one is more of a dressy piece that is really not a sports watch. If you if you're like one of those people that are like allergic to leather and you really need a strap and you don't want to spend a lot of money. That's a great watch to augment to your collection as more of a dressy piece, but you're still going to want a, a sports piece because I think that Rolex is kind of like the rich man's G-Shock. So you're going to be wanting, you know, your Submariner or your GMT or something to like beat up on or a Tudor, even though it's a different brand. But you know what I mean? You're still going to want something else. There's no okay. one and done. You need, you need at least two or three watches in your collection to be happy. Because if you Two send one three. out for service, then yeah, because if you send one out for service, you're still going to need to wear a watch. Don't you remember the days when you sent your Patek off? They would actually give you a watch to use in the meantime. Weren't they the good yeah, old days? Christ, they haven't done that since the 70s, Archie. Archie. Those were the days, my friend. Okay, by the way, $5 super chat from the Sucker Horn. Ben Don, he is no all. I owe you $100. Okay. I never. First of all, I never said I know everything. I tell you if I don't know something. Second of all, I've been collecting watches for 18 years of my life. I've made friends with dealers. I know 
watchmakers as friends and I've done a lot of homework on this stuff and I'm kind of like a nerd so I did my you know I did my homework and I did more homework than you and people don't like me for it and I think that's kind of messed up okay five dollar super chat Archie how much for you to put the KFC bucket on your head and say the following live on air onwards and upwards chef to bits been waiting donkeys 20 bucks Wow, okay. Tanzil, balls in your court, dude. Okay. All right, what's the... I'm going to ask a question. Can, can I talk now? What's the cheapest watch you can get in-house? Seiko. It's, nope. It's Swiss. A Swatch? What? Yep, the System 51. Okay, two to $5 super chat from Vladimir. Who is the better one watch manufacturer? JLC or Vacheron Constantine? This is for question for Don and Archie. Oh, my God, that's a hard one. Okay. Well, do you want to go first, Archie, then I'll go? Well, uh, well, uh, I, I would honestly have to say, if you look at who has done the most with movements... It'll have to be JLC by a long shot. JLC even yep. supplied watch movements to Vacheron. JLC supplied still- movements to the original Cartier tank. Um, mm-hmm. JLC yep. has done that. They're, they're, they're really a movement maker. That's what they specialized in. See, what used to happen is before all this snobbery started, you had a movement maker, you had a dial maker. By the way, the Stearns who owned Paddock Philippe, they were. By the region. way, Archie. Yes. Do you, I'm sorry to interrupt. Do you have the KFC bucket handy? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Tanzil sent twenty bucks. Okay, no worries there. Uh, I'll just get that out there. Um, so look, guys, I think it's really uh, bucket on the head, bucket on J-L-C. the head. JLC, JLC, definitely by a long shot there. So, you know, this is the whole, this is the whole thing. Okay. This onward, is... onward and upwards. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I've got to do this. Onwards and upwards. Chuff to, to bits. Been waiting, donkeys. Been waiting, donkeys. All right. Uh, okay, Don. We've. Uh, I've got. What's your response, Vacheron or JLC? I think Jagger LaCultra forgot more about watch movements than Vacheron has ever brought to the table themselves, to be honest with you. Um, they are the watchmakers. Watchmaker? Um, I think that they are definitely a better movement maker. However, you can't deny that Vacheron Constantine has making a couple movements themselves now that are pretty darn good. I think for fit and finish and decoration... They are Geneva seal watches that I think are beating Paddock in, in terms of fit, finish, quality, and the way they're decorating the movements, and they're more consistent than Audemars Piguet. So the modern Vacheron Constantine movements are better and more pretty than the Holy Trinity competition. Now, Jager LeCoultre has more calibers than them, and in terms of pure movement, yes, they're, they're more advanced. I'm not going to lie. But Vacheron Constantine is, is, is making some darn good movements. I think the best movement they make is their manually wound movement. Um, and some of their, uh, like the Patrimony Traditionale, for example. And what's the one that's cockeyed, the driving watch they have? The, uh, uh, the what's history, it called? History's, History's 1921. Yeah, that one. That's got the same movement. That is a phenomenally well-made manual movement. It's got a free sprung balance. It's regulated in like five positions. It's super accurate. Like within a second a day, my buddies have a couple of them. And it's just a really well made, well put together, well thought out movement. To beat that, you got to go to a long A. Okay. Now, $10. the rest of the movements in Vacheron are not that good. They're using Audemars Piguet perpetual calendars, they're using Lamania based chronographs. And they're not all in-house still. It never was an in-house movement. Vacheron got famous for case-making, really, you know? Right. $10 Super Chat by Randy Havens. I'm being charged $930 to service my JLC Reverso Grand Date. 
Am I being raped? Do you suggest no. waiting? Okay, that's part one. So no. Part two. Do you suggest waiting until you watch to see signs of wear, or is there a time frame you should automatically send your watch? Yep. All right. So the key to figuring out when your watch needs service is the amplitude. That's the secret sauce. When your amplitude gets below about 280, when it goes down to about 260, 250, that's basically saying the oils are drying out and the stuff's causing friction and your watch is slowing down. I got to get this puppy in the shop. All right? That's your early warning sign before you start wearing parts off. That's the check engine oil or check engine yep. light. But the only way puppy. to figure that out is to take it to your watchmaker from time to time and put it on a time grapper. I recommend you take your watch in every year for uh, a test to make sure that the seals are good or every couple years. And then every three years, have a watchmaker put it on a time grapher to check it out and see if it's magnetized and check the amplitude and uh, the, the accuracy on the time grapher. And 99% out of 100, most jewelry stores that has a watchmaker in it will do that for you for free. Okay, $10 Super Chat by Bear Cleaning Watches. Don shouldn't be allowed on this channel without fucking Goldberg being present. Fuck me dead. I zone out every time he pretends he knows all shit. I don't say I know all shit. I, for example, the historics 1920, I didn't know. I, I'll tell you what I do know. What's that? When I know something, I tell you I know it. When I don't know something, I completely admit that I do. I'm not trying to be arrogant. You ask me a question, I give you an answer. Nine times out of ten, I might know it, I might not. But if I don't, I will tell you. And if I do, I will back that damn shit up with some evidence. Mm. Now, i got, I got to admit there, Don's not actually being paid terribly much to come on my channel. Okay? Well, by, and by terribly much, you mean nothing. Uh I can't reveal that due to contractual obligations, but uh, basically... <laughs> Contracts normally imply remuneration going both ways, so no. There's no... You can't... You know. All right. Uh, yeah, because it would be under contract if Don was paying... Anyway, never mind. All right. Uh, Don, which dildo has the best per lodge in hand finishing? The fluffy purple rabbit BBC, the Texas Longhorn, or Southern Comfort? Oh, Southern Comfort. I'm, uh... All right. Don, what kind of Reverso do you have? I have a Reverso Ultra Thin Grande Duo Face. Nice. Okay, $5 Super Chat. The best shows are with are with Don by Kelsa Wills. I love Don. Thank you. Arch, if you want more of my super chats, get Don on more often. Don, there what is you your go. favorite watch under $50,000? That's a tough one because you can do a lot of damage with that. I'm going to have to say a Lange one um, with a uh, probably with a, a moon phase or if you can swing it, a rose gold Lange uh, datagraph, a used. <clears throat> now I'm giving you my favorite one under 50 grand used and my favorite one under 50 grand new. I think that's a fair <clears throat> thing. The reason why that's the datagraph is... Datagraph is amazing. That's yeah. extra value for the money. Philippe Defour has one and said this is the best chronography. It's the only brand he buy, bought because he's the only one that found out that they were going to make a, a watch that was a luxury based chronograph and it, it was the the fit and feel and the pushers and how everything works it's like butter over teflon it's like over tits it's so freaking Donnie, nice can i ask you something donny <clears throat> yeah on a on a column wheel chronograph right mm -hmm. i've been i've been pressing a few pushes why yeah. on cam's chronograph is it so much harder than on column wheel, or is that nothing related? It shouldn't make any difference. It depends how they set the spring tension because there's column wheel chronographs with vertical clutches still don't require a lot of force. That's one. Another good example is the Breitling B01 movements. Mm -hmm. They're column wheel vertical clutch, and they require a good whacking. Yes, they do. Um, 
the it's the tuning of the springs. The more higher end companies tune the springs better. And I'm going to throw this out there. The Datagraph does not have a vertical clutch. It just has a column wheel. It has a, it, it, it has a cam. So, what, what about the 1815 I, chronograph? The Lange 1815. Super chip. I don't think it has a vertical clutch. I got to take a look at the movement to tell you. That's something I don't know. Wow. Super chip. For those who weren't like Clive and went to Bible study as a child, Moses part both the Red Sea and Don Haynes' hair. Let our shitters go. There you go. Of course, Google isn't working. Because the 1815 chronograph is based off the data graph without the date function. So let me just, I don't think it has a vertical clutch, Archie. I think it has just a slide lever. Because mm. that's got a, it's like putting a knife through butter. It's so beautiful, the pushes on that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, it's the titties here. I'm zooming in on the picture. We can't tell. Oh, I know you can't. There's the column wheel. It might have a vertical clutch. I know. Where's the cam? Where's the cam? Where's the cam? Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's got. I think it's this has a, this has a cam. Okay. Um, let's Google. Does the data graph have? I mean, does the eighteen fifteen chronograph? Chronograph vertical clutch. I have to look this up. See, I don't know everything. I know the data graph doesn't. Let's just see here. B -b -b no, 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 oh. Everything you need to know about chronographs, blah, blah, blah. Yep, 1815 does have a chronograph, have a vertical clutch. It does. It has a vertical clutch okay. and op oscillating pinion system. Yep. Okay, very good. But you said the datagraph doesn't. I don't think it does. I'm going to double check, though. I'm going to double check. I don't think that graph does. We're going to check, though. Okay, I know the pad axle. Oh, here it is. Comparing three. Hodinky actually did an article about this, comparing, comparing the three different chronograph Turbo. movements, which is awesome. Ooh. Turbo. Well, I'm uh, researching. $20 Super Chat, Archie. Wow. $20. Don Haynes, suck on my hard chrome Les Bauer. Les Bauer? B-A-E-R. If not, you can suck on my stainless Wilson Combat. Faggot, get cucked. I love Wilson Combat. They make some of the nicest 1911s, don't they? Tell him I'll happily suck on his Wilson Combat. <laughs> wow. Okay. We're going to ignore. Okay, Don, what do you guys think of the Long A 101.022? Would you choose it over a Patek Philippe within the same price range? Thanks. $5 super chat by Ahmad B. No. Um, the Patek's better to buy new. The Long A's better to buy used because the Long A depreciates more. Fair enough. So it's, you took a one part question. Okay. Um, $2. Super chat by Zombiticus. Nothing else, just two dollars. Thanks. Thank you. So, Don. Oh, okay. What is? Um, what do you think about the new Vacheron Constantine? What is it? The fifty? The sixty-nine? I think, or no? The ninety? No, fifty-nine, fifty-six. I'm uh, just gonna throw out another. Yeah, that's the yeah, cheapy that nasty is, one. The cheapy nasty one uses a. A base caliber Vacheron Constantine eight nine. I mean, a base caliber Jaeger Le Coultre eight ninety nine, and it doesn't have a Geneva seal. The only ones that have a Geneva seal are the uh, the date one with the uh, oh, what the hell is it called? They have they have like a GMT one with like uh, power reserve or something, and then they have the chronograph. 
that are they're all Jaeger LeCoultre calibers, and those two are Geneva Seal watches, but the base caliber, the base time only, is not. I think it's a nasty, brutal, ugly sector dial, and I think if you buy that watch, you really need to see uh, get a CAT scan. Okay, five dollars super my chat buys on Bidicus. Ack. I wish Archie had bought a Grand Seiko instead of a Tudor. Don, what do you think about that? Do what do you think is a better watch for the money, a, a Grand Seiko or a Tudor? Tudor. It depends on what you want to do, though. I mean, I want to wanna... save my show. I'm dying, Donnie. I All need right, ratings. Dude. If you want a better made, if you wanted a watch that didn't care about the brand, you're better off going with the Grand Seiko. If that's like going to be your only watch. Now, if you have other watches in your collection, you're better off getting the Tudor. Is that fair enough? Fair enough. Uh, um, hold on for one second. Do, 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 do. Come on. God. Sorry. Um, uh, Go ahead. So, why, okay, what's the importance of the Geneva seal? The Geneva also, seal, do, basic. Do seal, can seal, seals live in the Alps? I know it's cold mm -hmm. there in their snow, but is there enough water? Or do they live in mountain lakes? No, the Geneva seal is just, it's a decoration and a snobbery um, mark. It's It's basically saying that they not only decorated the bridges of the watch and and all right <sighs> but don't forget right, cartier has geneva seal cartier has geneva seal now not all of them so what is the geneva seal the geneva seal says you polish the bridges you polish the inside teeth of the gears you polish and surface the outside of all oh. surfaces nice and pretty um and also now they finally are putting some time tolerances, I think, on it when they never did that before after Paddock left and created the Petit Philippe seal. And the Geneva seal is also looking at the case after the movements case up to make sure that that comes to a certain fit, finish, and polish standard as well. Um, and it can only be done in watches made in Geneva, which adds the snobbery factor to them. That's why uh, Alange will never have a Geneva seal, you know? Okay, $5 super chat for Don by Mr. Magoo. Don, what is your opinion on the coaxial escapement? Archie is not a fan. Hammered this out, guys. Thanks. If they did what George Daniels did with the coaxial and didn't add lubrication, it would have been a great movement for them. However, Omega wanted to have it serviced, so they added oil to it and completely screwed it up by having four or five different iterations of the 2500 calibers and then finally when they came out with the 8500 versions of it they fixed it and they're pretty much almost completely oilless now and the 8500 and 8900 metas movements and up based off of silicone technology with a silicone balance wheel and silicone hairspring with the coaxial are the tits so, i mean they're some of the most uh, accurate watches you can get Okay, Archie, how much for you to stand with the um, bucket of KFC over your head and sing I'm a Little Teapot shirtless? Oh, that, uh, I, I can't. Shirtless is, 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 is uh, look, to, 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 to sing that by itself, I'd, I'd, I'd need 70 bucks. Shirtless, I need 150. I'd do it for 230. <laughs> <laughs> all right so okay we talked about the Geneva cell seal so what is the uh, how would how would you say uh, long a compares to Patek Philippe in general Oh, by All the right. way, I, I sent I sent I sent Mark Goldberg an invitation, and he instantly got back and said, "My sorry guys, but my Wi-Fi sucks here." 
at the bathhouse. No, that's okay. Mm. That's okay. He's cool. And then he kept saying me one, one, one. Okay. <laughs> what do we All think right. of Lange and Paddock? I, 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 I think well, I think dollars super chat. Two dollars super chat by in something. Don silicon, not silicone. Dude, kiss my ass. Okay, how much would someone have to super chat Archie for them to kiss Don's ass? Okay. Turbo B18C. Okay, Turbo. We'll just call you Turbo. Don Haynes' panties are wrecked. He farted and cum went everywhere. His poor gerbil was cum covered. $20, oh $5 super chat from Turbo. Thank you. Thank you for the money. We need. I need the money, guys. I'm really short at the moment. We might wrap this super chat up soon, Clivey. You look a bit tired, and I, I, we, we, we've been on here for two hours 40. Really? Um, and I want to thank you guys for coming on, especially you, Don. There's a lot of abuse that comes in here, and, and you know, I, I do appreciate yep. you coming on here for a very small remuneration. And by small, you mean nothing. <laughs> you mean absolutely nothing. Exactly. So it's uh, look. It's great to have you guys here to just help the show. And uh, thank you so much. So do you want to do a show tomorrow, Clive? Uh, we'll see. I'm not if looking, I'm not, I won't roll it out necessarily. No, that's okay. That's okay. Well, that's okay. You know, if, if I've got plans or if I've got a date, I can't. So no, probably, course. yes. So pussy, probably. Pussy before watches every time, Clive. We know the rules, okay? Don, you want to come on again if you don't have a date? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. And um, you never let me explain the difference between Longay and Paddock. The biggest okay, difference sorry. is Paddock. Paddock is a better resale value. Paddock is a better buy new. Longay is a better made watch. Simple. But it's not going to hold its value as much. It's a me watch. You think it's going to be like a hedge fund? Don't buy the Longay. Buy the Paddock. And also, a lot of Swiss knobs don't like long A because it's made better because they're using beefier parts. And no, another thing that they do that Paddock doesn't do is what long A does is they assemble the watch, they disassemble the watch, then they decorate the watch and reassemble the watch again. It's the only company in the world, I think, that assembles the watch twice to make sure it works first before they decorate it, assemble it again. And then make sure it works again perfectly. Mm. No one does. Okay. That. Now, how much, Archie? How much would someone have to pay you to eat a whole pizza on screen in one sitting? They'd have to pay for the pizza and and Clive. I think we would need um, seventy five bucks. Okay. So, how much is the pizza? Would the seventy? Does the seventy-five bucks include the pizza? Uh, 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 five bucks from Domino's, eighty bucks all up. And you would eat the whole pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. No problems. Pe pepperoni pan, thank you. Okay. Keep modification. Super chat for Don. Don, Black Bay, yep. EPA or in house? In house. Why the in house movement has more magnetic resistance because it has a silicone spring. Your watch will never get magnetized. I mean, is it really a question? Come on, don't be dumb. Okay. Uh, but the ETA is a better like investment. The, the, the ETA. Good. The Black Bay is not an investment watch. It's a little beater. It's a four thousand dollar watch. It's never going to be worth twenty fucking thousand dollars. They made fifty what? million of them. Which one? It's not like in the old days of Rolex where they only did the single red bullshit lettering on the thing when they made five hundred watches. I'm sorry I got upset, but I mean, really, it's not an investment grade piece. What you're talking about the Tudor, right? Correct. What do you suggest? What would you suggest that some, especially coming in, especially the the unavailability of used Rolexes, especially the bargains are gone. 
what do you, what would you recommend for someone to start off with as a watch? Let's just say, let's just say Chris is a uh, college graduate. He's got his first real job. What do you think Chris should Honestly, start off? With? This is what I would do. I would get a system 50, $150 watch and see if you like wearing a mechanical watch first. You spend 150 bucks. See if you like that. It's not going to be your everyday thing. Figure out if this is something for you before you start investing thousands of dollars. Okay. And then, and then if you can handle wearing a watch all the time and realize you need to wear it to wind it, then maybe think about getting something like a Tudor or an Omega Seamaster, something like that, with a silicone spring that's regulated, that's going to work, or a Zin. And just don't, please don't buy a Rolex as your first watch because you're going to get spoiled and, because that's kind of like the standard. But don't go, don't go off on the freaking deep end either and buy 15,000 freaking Seikos because that's just, you're pissing in the wind, okay? And then after you, you kind of figure figure out is this something I want to get into I get my one nice watch then you're going to want to build a little bit of a collection you're going to want a chronograph you're going to want maybe um a dive watch or something and 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 like you only need like two or three and then eventually maybe like a dress watch but it takes years it's taken me 18 years to get to this point it's taken Archie almost 25 to 30 it takes time don't rush into it and spend thousands of dollars and put yourself in debt and hurt yourself financially because these things don't have really good resale value if you don't buy them at the right price and you don't have the relationships when you get into the hobby to get the discounts that a lot of us insiders do. So you're, are you saying it, it, you're twice as smart as Archie is? No, I'm not smarter than him. Archie has done more has done a lot more than I have and has a lot more experience buying and selling than I have. I just a little bit know a little bit about movements. Well, Archie that's, that's does why the sales look, look, better. Look, look, it's not a it's not a pissing competition here. I mean, look, these uh these things Don 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 is interested in movements. That's why you know I like to have him on the show because it, it does add something to the mix. And it really um does. He he's I I, I kind of you know I know some people don't like Don, but I I think they don't well, quite understand some people, him. And and like I said, you had half the people typing once, and the other half of the people are contacting me on Facebook and said thank you so much for bringing him on and having some serious discussion. Yeah, I, I mean look, Don 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 is a uh, I think Don is a great guy there, and um, I I think in in all honesty there Don comes on here for very low remuneration. Nothing, in other words. And uh, yeah. I appreciate that he's because no, no. he's contributing to the mix, and uh, it's impossible for anyone to to know everything about watches. You know, it, it's it's I, I I fuck things up many times. I fuck things up many times. Believe you me, yeah. I've fucked things up more times than most people have had hot dinners. Yeah, I mean, how many freaking brands are there? How many different movements and how many different parts? I mean, th this is a comprehensive. This is a billion dollar industry, guys. So you're, you're making what? us try to figure out a billion dollar industry as a luxury watch market and get all the ins and outs. It's a lot of work. Well, what I like about Don, he doesn't just spout off opinions. He has facts behind the opinions. He's actually studied it, and he actually has a background in engineering. Very true. We yes. better wrap this one up today. It's been a long, long show. Thank you, guys. Let's wrap her up. And... Uh, Last chance for a super chat before we disconnect here. Okay, and, uh, we'll be everyone, on. Everyone, everyone on the live stream with uh, with uh, who owns an Amiga, raise their hands. Wait, no, I'm only on camera. Screw this. Never yes. mind. Forget it. All right. Well, hey, fine. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to press stop. Yes, I, I think the datagraph has a vertical clutch. I think it does. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, I think it well, thanks, I thought hey, Don. Thanks. Thanks for coming on and uh, raising the conversation. Thank you so no much, problem. guys. I love it. You guys are great, and we'll see you tomorrow. If you